but I am being the nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you. And I choose not to. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. It, like it's the truth. Like I'm the friggin' pedo hunter. Hello. Obviously, Yo. I did that wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was that? Uh, that Hello. clock keeps ticking like a metronome. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. My balls keep telling me. <laughs> that clock keeps ticking there you like go. a metronome. <laughs> the background. You know, here we with this shit right here. I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you. This is a scam. I choose not this to. This is exactly what I said it is. It's a racket. It's true, though. It, like it's the truth like i'm the friggin pedo hunter so i don't know about you guys but i consider that an admission that this was a scam that this is a racket i remember the exact words that i used with chud logic the exact words uh i made a mafia comparison hey nice story you have here be a shame if it burned down yeah and that's essentially what this was Go along with it or else. Go along with it or else. So I think that begs the question. I think that begs the question. Since it's been established almost without a doubt at this point that this was a scam, a money scam. What is Spencer's involvement? Spencer seem to be is and this is the biggest problem and 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 the conflict of issues of living with somebody um that you're doing a report on and they're dependent on you you can't say anything you can't say you can't you, you can't give them they you have to say whatever the person who owns your house tells you to because otherwise you can be kicked out that's the, the so her knowing all this her, 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 like, I mean, you can see the thing right here. I think it's really important personally. Muda has breached the terms of the NDA. You notice, just like uh, Camden Gerard J Davis in all these conversations, admittingly, they weren't public. They were in a Discord. Nobody said what he breached. <laughs> hey, here's the example of what Muda breached. We got him. No, it's just the same sort of general malaise. Muda's breached the term. Okay, that's a statement. This is called cyber stalking. Buzzword. Harassment. Bugsword. Dangerous. Buzzword. That's all there is. Buzzword, buzzword. Nothing there. Just like Mama Max, an empty suit. Do you have if a he... clip of that? Thank you so much. Crow D. Yo, Tommy. Uh, I haven't been here in about three years, but I'm glad you're back. It seems like you both gained uh, some idiots, <laughs> some kilos. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, you're right. Mm, maybe. We just ate Mama Max alive, so <laughs> yeah, I'm full. Yeah. <laughs> took yes. it. Uh, took it three years to digest. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. So like, yes. so like, do you think like Spencer is his underboss or consigliere? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, see, we're gonna get this pedophile vampire, and there's nothing. I, to I, do I think about I, it, I think Spencer is the one that takes the rap. <laughs> <laughs> In case of things go oh, wrong. The fall guy. All yeah, right. the fall guy. Yeah. I wonder, do you, who do you think is going to throw who under the bus? You think Max is going to be like Spencer? She'll throw him under the bus. She'll throw him under the bus. Yeah. yeah. Plot twist: uh, Sam Pepper is pulling the strings behind Mom, Max, and Spencer. Oh, yes. Buy Bitcoin. Buy. <laughs> <laughs> Buy Mama Max coin. <laughs> what stops him from doing similar a future in relation to other uh, causes? Well, actually, he does do other causes, fake causes, like, hmm, the completionist, another scam for money, another scam that targets the, the fact that people in general have a lot of goodwill and are, are willing to sacrifice their earnings for people that are less fortunate. All this stuff has been busted by Carl and Muda. I mean, even the way she talks... Even the way she talks, it's it's sort of like a, um, I don't know, like 
like him, there's no substance, but in relation to other causes, so that we're just missed, like, you guys are completely unaware that you've never released anything of substance. You heard the calls when everybody, at, when they were there, when it was explained to him by Muda and Nick, you've not released every, anything of substance at all. They, he would say, talk to the victims, talk to the victims. Why, well, why would they want them to do that? Because they, nobody's willing to do what I'm willing to do right now. Okay, buddy. Spencer could be a victim and a part of this scam right now. Both can be true. Was uh, Ghislaine Maxwell a victim of Epstein? I think so. <laughs> and she victimized a bunch of other people too. Yeah. Interesting you say that because she's on tape saying she let kids in. <laughs> yeah, she like brought the kids to Jeffrey. Uh, look, I don't know what the situation is, but so is Spencer. So, so, so wait a sec second, Tommy. Spencer yeah, was bringing, bringing, bringing women to Camden, right? And now she's bringing women to Max. She's <laughs> like, you Spencer. know what I mean? <laughs> Spencer, tell Tommy how it felt to be called a scammer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know. Like, a Sam Pepper scam seems more okay to me because at least you're, you're trying to scam people that want to make money. This you're trying to scam people that give a shit. Which is worse? They're both bad. One's worse than the other, though. This is people's goodwill. You know, this is it's, it's truly unbelievable. So, I don't know what was that video like. Uh, the, the 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 video Nick had in. He said like, "Why me?" I thought this is interesting too. She sounds like a politician when she talks. And, oh, oh yeah, I, I, want, I wish I could address it because my Twitter's acting up. I don't know if it's Germany or my personal ISP. Um, but that, that guy, idiot loser, sent me something. I wanted to comment on it. And I can't because this is my Twitter situation. Hold on. Is it opening? Yeah, this is my Twitter situation. Oh, you can't even see it. Uh, let's do it this way, then. Boop. No, can't do. It. Well, that you guys can see it. Well, idiot guy on Twitter at me, and I'll send it to Tommy. No, 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 no. It was idiot. The guy's called idiot loser. Um, oh, his name is like, actually that, that idiot, like, idiot, idiot, like, idiot loser. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were like this fucking idiot. That's the guy. Sending me stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go through a lot of the stuff uh, in the actual newsroom. Um, oh, I, I found it, idiot loser. A reply to me. What did he? What did he write? I'm surprised you guys ha have been so uh, reluctant to victim blame. TBH, it's uh, been clear to me that the vic uh, the victims are just as much as uh, an, an an issue, and there's nothing wrong with it, with questioning what makes a person decide to go to a vampire uh, to a vampire's house to begin with. <laughs> yes. Well, the reason I found that I I don't think there's anything wrong with what he said, but I reason um, he uses the word victim blame. Well, why don't you want a victim? I don't want to blame victims. I'm not blaming her for anything. I'm not accusing her. It's like, oh, it's your fault that that, that Count Black Yellow got gotcha. you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, why do you continue to be with a person that's a part of a scam? I mean, like, is it that like just like what a investigator would do? Question the victim, verify the story. Oh yeah, uh, it's so, not like, yeah. It's well, that's like, that's it's that's why Max. That's why Max, when he's questioned about not releasing his evidence, he just says talk to the victims because he it's a social faux pas to come out and say something like like and to question them. They they become unquestionable. It's a post me too thing. The allegations are the evidence, and that's an easy like thing. And, that, and that's and that's why and that's why Max got involved in this scam to begin with. Yeah. Because he thought it was airtight. No one would ever dare question somebody like Spencer. I am. Are you a part of a scam? Were you aware he recorded the video like that? Saying, Charlie, I can cancel you? I mean, this is what I accused him of three years, two years ago. Well, three years ago, I said this whole thing's kind of, you know, unhinged. Two years ago, I said this is a scam. In that, in the, in the, uh, the big rant that everybody loves so much that FPS Diesel put in his video... I say it's a scam. This is a scam. Scam. And, I don't, I, and, and a, lot, a lot of people, I don't know, Tommy. 
You know, somebody could call you a victim blamer. My idiot, my my idiot, my thing with idiot loser is, I don't know why you guys try to victim blame early. Yeah, nobody wants to blame victims. And I, idiot loser is kind of a lefty. And I think like, wow, you right wingers hate victims of, of, of sexual molestation. I'm surprised you didn't jump on her ass sooner. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> Nobody wants to do that. Nobody in their right mind. But here's the thing. I, I mean, I don't know how much it matters. Now you're in my newsroom, everyone. Welcome. I don't know if it matters, even if she was victimized by this guy. Even if she was. She still participated and was used as a shield, as a club, as a sword. That's a shield and a sword for Max. Hence... Every question, what do you think, Spencer? And you saw it happen in fucking real time in the Muda, inter um, in the Muda interview. They're asking him questions. They're getting uncomfortable because they're getting closer to the truth. Spencer, how did you feel when you went on Tommy C? Everything's fake it. about that guy. His voice, the way he acts. This, this I am being is the real him. I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel Power you. hungry, money hungry. And I choose not to. <laughs> Scammer. It's true though. Scammer. It's all it ever that's all it's ever been. The thing I can't figure out Stop is how nobody bitch. else figured it out. I have to admit, I listen I I, I, I listen um I listen to the next next post call and I'm not for um, going to Leon Lush and Nexpo and other these other people, yeah. and um, I think it's lousy criticism. Apologize for Mac. Mac Leon Park. needs to shut the fuck up though if he's not going to. Yeah, it really he's does. Fucking Who? getting really baited does. by like Leon Lush. He's getting baited by hundred follower you know accounts. Of that? Well, you know, here's the thing about Leon Lush and and why Leon Lush never sticks up for anybody or goes out of their way because I also clashed with Leon Lush. He was one of the last people to fucking let go on Alex. Uh -huh. you know, Riveter yeah. can tell you that story. You know, like, here's the thing about Leon Lush. Leon, just take it for what is worse. Leon Lush is a go-along. He just goes along. Whatever it is, he goes along. He's always been that way. It's ever since I've known him, yeah. Leon Lush has always been a go-along. Leon Lush looks into nothing. He yaz everything, looks into nothing. It's the path of least resistance. So when things mm -hmm. like pedo allegations are coming us, Max is a good YouTuber. You know, Alex made about a lot, a lot of money with that guy. He's a go-along. All right. This is why I use the saying on shot for the point, just another YouTuber, which by the way, are most of the people, a lot of the people that have been interviewed on him, he's been on here, Leon Lush. But I, this is why YouTubers don't impress me. I was so happy when Harley asked me on Lulcow, you really hate YouTubers, don't you? Your problem is you don't like them, right? And I said, yes, that's my problem. And you know what? He kind of admitted, not directly, but indirectly. Yeah, I for, for all everything, the reasons you hate YouTubers is pretty much everything I experienced. Because Harley's been screwed before. You have to be. It's all about, you know, I mean, admittedly, those guys didn't have the information at the time. I think Leon did the right thing and said, I'm not apologizing for shit. But he's a go the, the reason people are coming to you and begging you for an apology is because you're a go-along. That's the truth. It's not me insulting you. It's not me stabbing you in the back. It's not like we're like the best of friends or anything. You're a go-along. And there's a lot of people that I'm just super fucking irritated with, you know, that hung me out to fucking dry, thought it was okay, and didn't see, you know, it, 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 exactly what I always say. They don't make the videos until it's easy. Until it's easy. Not impressed. Watch lyrics. Watch Nexpo on there. I didn't know nothing. Nothing. I didn't know anything. I swear to God, lyrics. I, I swear to God. Hey, and I'm not blaming lyrics for going fucking easy on him or anything like that. I'm not. I promise you. Uh, not really. It, it did kind of get a little No, no, bit he did. I'm not. No, 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 no. I did. But here's the thing. I don't know anything. Everything. Max used me. I don't know. I, I don't know a thing. I don't know fucking anything. Do you ever watch fucking video? You don't know nothing. No, I didn't watch the videos. Convenient. That's nothing, crazy that nothing, 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 nothing tripped the yeah, fucking right. thing. I'm the only person on the planet that it tripped. Or are you afraid to dance with Mama Max? That's the thing. Is that it? Because that sounds what it sounds like to me. There's a lot of overlap next po with you're an audience nobody has the balls 
Nobody has the balls because they're not afraid of them. They're afraid of you. And that's why this channel has always been will criticize the YouTubers and actually get a response from them, Ant-Man. It's not like just howling in the wind to fucking 10 people. The reason they respond to me is because they know I got them. They know I have them pegged. That's why they have visceral reactions. That's when I can say something, something. It's like, look, hey, Ant-Man, you sit there telling those people they're homophobic. It's YouTube. Half the people who work there are probably homos. <laughs> so no wonder they took your shit away. What's his solution to that? Swing his audience and take my videos down while he's in a fight for a guy that got him demonetized? <laughs> you know? Nobody stuck up. Where, where was Elvis the alien? Don't listen to Tommy. He just says things. <laughs> Another go along. Elvis the alien. Slugs chat. What? It was, I was it, talking about Ackman being in Slugs chat. Be like, yeah, Tom, Tommy, Tommy, release my DMs. He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. Out of my mind. Even though he fucking like owned me and totally predicted everything. Yeah. He's crazy. Then he's struck. Then he's that was the best like because that went from like Emery to nothing. It was like like in seconds. Like the Emery. The when I most people don't know what I'm yeah. talking about. I I did something really stupid once, um, and I got a lot of hate, deserved hate for it. Right. And it went on kind of like this. Mm. When mom, when it turned out that Ant Man bragged in Nicholas Diorio that he was going to try to take one of my videos down, it went from mm, bang. Yeah, <laughs> my Twitter was normal now, again. Now it's up to the heavens with Mama Max. Yeah. Yeah. Now everybody's going to probably listen to you for a while until you fuck up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Until I you criticize Charlie for something legitimate. <laughs> That's what's yeah. going to happen. It's not about the truth, and they know that. Leon Lash knows that. Nexpo. And by the way, I'm not criticizing the guys. Don't demand apologies. I'm just, here's what I'm saying about Nexpo and, 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 um, uh, Leon Lush. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed, especially Leon, because he criticizes like goofballs for a living. Like nobody sees through anything. Nobody sees a scam. And I think Leon, Leon's like an East Coast guy. He's from Massachusetts. You don't see through the, I don't know. Maybe he grew up rich. I don't fucking know. <sighs> You can see through this shit? The guy is a pedophile for five years. It doesn't show any evidence for that whole five years. Boy, Tommy, you really saw through that bullshit. What? <laughs> <laughs> he never told anybody he arrested. That's objectionably true. But when I say that, this guy hasn't shown anybody he arrested. He's also, if that's, even if that's true, Tommy, he's more done more than victims that you ever have. I don't know, the goofball with the fucking sports and uh, arcade shit behind him. <laughs> You're right. I've never done anything for victims because I'm not an advocate and I don't have to be. So, no. Don't demand apologies from Leon. That's stupid. But know that he's a go-along. And he always will be. He always will be. Leon is a super duper talented musician, YouTuber, but that's all he knows how to be. There's not much else to him besides that that I know of. He's always been just a YouTuber. Not a bad guy. Totally cool guy to have a beer with. But he goes along. Remember, he got fooled by Alex. When he's still a teenager. <sighs> Max was well into his third, or what's his name, was well into his 30. So yeah, I, I listened to lyrics there and I just wasn't impressed. I didn't know anything. I was completely fucking fooled. I'm like all you fucking guys. I just, I was listening to this and I have no proof of this one way or another. And I'm listening to this. It's like, you know, you know what? I don't believe you, Matt. I don't believe you, Nexpo. I don't believe you at all. I think really what happened is you thought something was shady um, and you just hope it didn't like fall in your face. Because you're a go along. He's the pedo hunter. He could literally cancel you. It's quite literally true. No one was ever going to do anything. The only person that could do anything, I guess, is the washed up YouTuber that only makes a few grand a month, pays his bills, and... And I'm out of here. But like, going back to, but like going back to what Matt said, how did nobody watch his fucking videies? All, all his like YouTuber friends. 
That is the f- No, nobody I think they didn't know. They were good friends and they just yeah. never watched the video. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. We're on his video. Look, I don't and watch literally in his every video. episode of now recording. Uh, like I don't know. Expo, I mean. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Either they're normal and we're fooled, and I've got an IQ of 200. What do you believe? <laughs> I believe they just look the other way because they just didn't <laughs> want to be involved. Because I don't think I have an IQ of 200. In fact, I'm pretty fucking stupid. I've just been given this gift or curse that I just cannot have a filter. And it goes back to my when I was a kid and got slapped on a regular basis. Parents, girls. But I didn't lie. Let's listen to this audio. After operating for 14 years, Omegle is getting it shut down. They're taking it out behind the barn. God rest its soul. And it's leaving behind a weird legacy. I don't care who you are or what your history is. I don't care who you are or what's your history. I don't care. I know, Charlie, that's the problem. That's the problem, Charlie. You don't know my history. You imagine making that fucking video trying to cancel Charlie, but staying in the same video that I'm not really trying to cancel you. It was a real gamble on his part. I'm surprised. He's uh, such an ego know, idiot. It failed me. miserably. Yeah, like Jesus Christ. Yeah. If I, if, if, let's say I was an expo. <laughs> <laughs> and I never heard of anything before. And this guy came. Charlie, let's do the math. <laughs> that's how. That's what an egomaniac he was. That's, that, that's what an egomaniac looks like. But I am being the nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. That he was really in love with his power or perceived power. But I am being the nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. Oh, we already had that one. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally. Well, that's, that's the uh, whole fucking thing. All right, we already did that shit. Yeah, that's the whole segment. It's the Bobax thing. So I like. Um, I don't know. I guess I just don't want to give Spencer a chance to play dumb. Like everybody else is playing dumb. What's this about? Take this one away, man. What's up? Lyrics. After this, this is lyrics, because um, I my YouTube doesn't work, Twitter doesn't work. After uh, Mama Max evidence Discord, let's get rid of this fucking thing. Can I get rid of that? Can I close that? Yeah, there you go. Um, after my uh, got leaked, he's now flagging people. Uh, everyone who covered. Even a little of the leaks. I don't take my chances. It's not fucking copyrighted material. <laughs> it's not fucking an IP, for fuck's sake. Um, yeah, so like, Mr. so like, Sen was uh, streaming the entire Discord, the, the entire evidence Discord, mm -hmm. and uh, people were and and Max's people were just like freaking out about it. I bet there's all the lies in there. <laughs> Whoever's in this server is leaking shit. You were literally. But like, but like, uh, legitimately, there were like a lot of fucking names of alleged victims. So. Oh, that's pretty shit. Yeah. No, that's yeah. insane. Well, what a shock. I mean, I think it was just screen names, but whatever. Still, know, because people like, we freak out about hand, Still, like, you know, hand I can't really, names, I really yeah. can't really not criticize San and like one of my biggest issues and why I don't like. I'm not particularly in love with, um, although I don't know if they should be doing what they're doing to him. And a lot of it happens to be because I think he got a friend of mine killed. Or a friend of my brother's killed. Um, it's Julian Assange. Um, Julian Assange just dumped material. He didn't vet anything. And uh, among them were translators relatives to the guys who were serving us. So yeah, I just like, I don't really cry for Julian Assange. I'm pretty sure that WikiLeaks uh, got this uh, Iraqi guy, Sean, his brother killed. Couldn't get to him because they would have had to invade Camp S or Bob Spiker. But uh, they got him in Baghdad. So that's the danger of doing that kind of stuff. Right. I'm not really cool with that. So I can't, I can't fucking honestly say so what. But I honestly, I normally wouldn't care. I normally wouldn't care at all because the thing's a scam. 
But I'm sure some of the alleged victims are a part of that scam and being used, not like, unlike I kind of, I'm starting to think that Spencer is. Yeah, these are all the, Xander, I heard like, uh, I don't know. I didn't check, but Speedy Bird said that this is hilarious. Anderhall's coverage. I don't know if I can stop. I'm that. good. I don't yeah, know. I, I, haven't yeah. touched it. I haven't touched it at all. I have What's to going sit on down. Here? Can you guys have to sit, on this? Yeah, I have to sit down and clip it. I just want to know how he shifts the whole thing and and kind of like clips it and try to puts it in focus into his his sort of political worldview. Well, like, well, you see, Mama Max is always leaning to the right, and we all yeah. know this. I don't doubt that this is why who he is. You know, if you go back into history, you yeah, can yeah, see every, him saying every every viewer take will have to do with political leanings, and the rest yeah. of it will try to be like I'm trying to like kind of collect and keep my worldview together. This oh, is no. why we lost Max the war in Afghanistan. <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> Jesus. Sandra Hall should be doing politics like Mama Max should be helping fucking predators. <laughs> you know, we're now helping uh, the victims of predators. That's too funny. <laughs> Holy shit, Ma we're closing in on a thousand concurrent. Jeez. Yeah, oh, gee, it's been great, a long time. Great. Thank you very much, everybody. Hope you sub and share. Hey, yeah, make sure to sub. We're, we're the only, going towards We're the only people that can do dark subjects and make you laugh about them. Yeah. Uh, mostly because we don't. We, we, we actually fucking ignore the, uh, the pearl clutchers. Tommy's Tommy's been orbiting 50k for like years, and I think it's time <laughs> yeah. we make the move. Let's, let's get him to 50k. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Max says they have traded uh, by what some are calling a, a pedo hunter hunter. <laughs> <laughs> a pedophile? <laughs> this is a comedy show, by the way. If you don't want a comedy show, um, who has leaked the entire content of the service by social engineering Reg Pagan Corner. That's the social trans comedy, That's right? That's so funny. Yeah, trans yes. comedy is funny. I am currently vetting the information for relevance and censoring PII before a stream file. Okay, credit to Pontius who explains the process. Because I hate pedo hunters. <laughs> I guess this is bound to happen, right? <laughs> I, I, I guess this is bound to happen. <laughs> and I'm so pissed off. I've been abused before, and I want to humiliate Max and see if he can actually do it. Some of you think people might be this isn't think this is me. Listen, fuckhead. Check um, Ghosty, and I'm coming for you next, buddy. <laughs> to be honest, it didn't take much. And yes, uh, there are identified informations in some of the messages, including Instagram names, Camden and other victims. DMs with Max. I essentially gave him a fake name, then created a new Gmail account. First, I contacted Red Pagan Corner. I think their name is. Uh, there, I befriended him. Ooh, this actually, Max, That's this is real head. social engineering. <laughs> befriended him and claimed I was a victim of Cand, and then the communists would later fall for it and then use my slow speech impediment as a way it sounded to me like I tried a traumatized kid I and it worked. And, uh, uh, I'm so. The victim of Camden, Gerard Davis, he was a werewolf. Uh, Please let me on. Let me see the evidence. What are your pronouns? Let me see the evidence. I mean, I don't, I don't care. I'll call you Z and Zer, sir. <laughs> 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 um, I appreciate what you're doing for the victims. For the victims. <laughs> From there, they put me in contact with Spencer, another genius. The Capo Spencer. Oh, the Capo Spencer. I don't want to make sure. Uh, Oompaville made. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty much like a rehashing of the entire like Muda. Yeah. And Nick's video. Yeah. It's like what I am at. What was that? <laughs> What a weirdo. Fucking. Yeah, the guy's a fucking freak. Yeah. What a weirdo, yeah. Uh, this is just a. No, I'll go with that later. Let's stay on. Let's stay on. Well, fuck it. I don't care because it's, it's, my Twitter Twitter's not working in Germany or at least in my. Then we area. lose. Uh, and now we just lose the nine hundred live viewers. Yeah, like, I'm just gonna say like Carl Jobs, uh, <laughs> who also worked in Mood Far, did a video. <laughs> clueless lawyer defends the completionist, and the guy wrote him and fucking like tapped immediately. That's just <laughs> that's kind of interesting to me. Um. All right, Tommy, scroll up. Click on. Uh, Go back up, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, under the c 
completion this video, there's a tweet that Matt posted. Click on the photo. Right there, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so that's a DM from the They Them interviewer. I think I'm going to pull away from Max. They tapped out too. <laughs> yeah, I actually sent you more. To, I think I sent you more about that in the DMs. Um, sure. They, this they is funny. not only not only they tapped out tapped out. They conceded that Max is a shitty person. Yeah, idiot. I don't know. Like maybe they convinced. Maybe she convinced uh, Max Powell and, and Leon Lush. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody can look at these people and say, "All right, I'm not listening to them." <laughs> you know. They sound okay, crazy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, these social engineered people? What the fuck? This guy's insane. This is too fucking funny. Too funny. Too funny. What do you got? Yeah. Um. You don't care if I show you DMs, do you? No, you're fine. Yeah. Just wanna. Well, come on now. Oh, wait a minute. I did the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. Um, you should have gotten you should have gotten yourself involved in something. You're obviously so corrupt, like Mom Max. Absolutely unhinged story of vampire cults. Let's like, come on, seriously. Especially he, he fakes the content. I agree. Uh, so you've disavowed Max. I will announce everything soon. Just taking time to think and speak with a friend, advisor. <laughs> advisor. He needs That's an advisor. So, like that advisor should be going out for an expo in Leon Lush. That's what. That's what they need. An advisor. The they advisor can't see. His, uh, they can't see. Is this a That's funny. Yeah, I, you know, I heard an expo say in an interview. Like he goes like this. He says, you know. Max, like, the guy is completely different than the guy you see on TV. Like, yeah, like, see on there. And I'm like, no shit. Yeah, no. Maybe that should have been a <laughs> no. red flag. <laughs> you know, I wow, don't know. The YouTuber's a different person in real life? Oh, wow. <laughs> no way. Dude. Yeah, but That's he said song. it like, you'll never believe this. He's <laughs> not that guy. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm like, I listen to the lyrics. And, but this is not a criticism of lyrics. It's not even that much criticism of Mexico. It's it, it, uh, of Mexico. I just I don't believe everybody's this stupid. I believe they make decisions uh, uh, because of fear of audience. That's what I believe. Yeah. I don't think it's that out of the realm of possibility. Messing with the commentary, uh, messing with commentary, trying to flag everyone, take the side of Max is a proven liar along with Spencer was your worst mistake. I agree. Well, you got to <laughs> I think I think I think I think they really left Stalin down. Yeah. The Chinese Communist Party is not happy with the Yes. Panda. You traitor. You are a failure for our people. people. Traitor. You trans person you. What did you send me? Oh, idiot loser. Oh, it's yeah. just the, yeah, the yeah, idiot loser screenshot. Mm. Idiot idiot loser. I'm surprised you guys were so reluctant to victim blame. After all, you all voted for Trump, and you hate people that were raped. <laughs> That's how I took oh. that. To be, it's been clear to me the victims are just as much as an issue. There's nothing wrong with uh, questioning what makes a person decide to go to a vampire's house to begin with. Well, that's true. Oh, no. So you, see, you give Spencer a little... She's like 16 at the time, right? Yeah. Very, yes. very dumb 16 year old. Mm, yeah. Hey, look, you, you get cut a break um, when you're a teenager for stuff like this, you know, being this stupid. But I remember being a teenager, okay? You don't get that break from your parents and your peers that are around your same age. So if I was going to high school with Spencer at the time, like, and she said, I can't believe I get wrapped up with that guy. You said you were going over to a vampire's house. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, you, you, that went wrong? I and mean, I would have said that when I was 16. I wouldn't, here's what I wouldn't have said. He really wasn't a vampire? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Wait, it's fucking. We Go cracked, ahead, uh, congratulations, everybody. We cracked a thousand for the first time in, I want to say, what? three or four years. No, it's been, it's only been a year. It's been a year. It's oh, actually was, been was a year last one and I got, a week. Yeah. 
when was the last Salad one? Pancakes was the last one. Oh, I, I, I didn't. See, I, don't, I forget. I couldn't see the what you call it. Not. All right, it's been here. Thanks so much. Yes, Hope you stick yeah. around. Um, Janu actually, January is a great month for us. This is the third yeah, January yeah, in a row where we've had a great turnout. Yeah, because I've had two weeks off, and uh, I'm not burned out. <laughs> I'll be burned out by March, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, because I'll run into somebody and I'll say, and I think that guy's doing something fucking crazy. You're an idiot. You're unhinged. You're unhinged. Tommy C. Oh, he really has a lot of hot takes and he's unhinged. Mr. Unhinged. Yeah. But I wanted to bring up a point about the vampire stuff, right? Sure. I'm starting to think that there was no, that nobody be actually believed it. That this was all like some like role playing stuff. Like they were all playing Could playing be. some weird fucking game of like sure. D and D without the dice, where like we pretend we're werewolves and vampires and we're being hunted. Sure, you sure, know? but even if that's the case, that's not the place for a sixteen year old girl to go. Absolutely. Yeah, that's 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 not it. They were fucking larping. What the fuck? I did. Yeah, that. I don't. I don't think Camden actually <laughs> believed. Yeah, they were the larping. Werewolf. Yeah, like, yeah. Larping as, as vampires. My yeah, dad bro. let me do that. You know, when I was you, a kid, you don't though. do that, ball. You get into your in the chat room with your buddy. You, you pretend to be fucking that? vampires with your dicks out. And I stuff. just, yeah, I just like, just, I just like start hissing. There's breaking news regarding <laughs> Mama Max situation at the bottom of the post. Yeah, oh yeah, funny. check that out, Tommy. It's funny, yeah. That right there, yeah. <laughs> what is this madness? Um, you is Chat TV's is Chat. GPD is substitute for legal advice in regards to law enforcement escalation. I am not a substitute for legal advice. If you require assistance and guidance in legal matters, especially in relation to law enforcement escalation, it's important to consult a qualified legal personnel. Well, thanks for thanks for thanks, thanks for getting on that first. Because <laughs> I needed to know that. You know what, first? Point. You're not wrong. Send this to Leon Lesha next po. They probably didn't know. Verse. Could you ask ChatGPT the situation about the werewolf thing? Like, ask him the whole scenario. Like, there's a werewolf pedophile on the loose. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> see what ChatGPT says. Do I forget what ChatGPT says? Call Mama mean? Max. Call That'd be so <laughs> <laughs> because it says call Mama Max. I would like to recommend it. a YouTuber call named Mama, Mama Max. Max. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So, yeah. Did you hear about uh, Colton getting fucking owned today? Yeah, uh, give me the story, Mister. I, here's the uh, thing: before we do, before we hammer Colton, and we're going to hammer Colton, I am gonna like, hey buddy, because I I didn't want to do this because I run a comedy channel, right? My um, only thing with Mama Max, I said, it looks like a scam. It breathes like a scam. It it looks like a racket where he's trying to silence people by by the threat of on on pain of being called a pedophile and have all his audience go after him. Uh, and he showed no vic he showed no victim. There's no uh, no part, in no time he's ever went. It seems at the time anyway that he never went to the ever went to the police. Excuse yeah. me, I got a speech impediment apparently. Um, so that's where I left it because I'm not a pedo hunter hunter. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll give Colton this. He did the next. He started calling the police stations, okay, buddy. and that put yeah. a lot of pressure on Max. They put a shit ton of um, messages. Let's subscribe. Let's hit 50k. <laughs> the fans want it more than I do. Thank you. Right. Um, so the problem with Colton is um, he suffers from retardation, he's and got a hero he complex. disappeared right after that. No, he's literally retarded. Uh, he, and when he disappeared, <laughs> and then he came back, and then he told Chud Logic that he cut a deal over. Explain that part to me. All right, so the leaker was leaking uh, everything to a lot of YouTubers. Sen, Slug, Chud, Kuman, uh, probably... Great choices. Well. Lyrics. Also lyrics, by the way. Lyri uh, uh, what? <laughs> and so but fucking, Sen? Uh, yeah, yeah, and Sen. And so what Colton did is he tried to, like, under undertake it and be like, yo, could you just DM... So could you delete all the leaks you were sending to the other YouTubers? And could you just send it to lyrics, please? Because we don't want to have anything crazy leaked or something like that. And the guy was like, oh, yeah, sure. And then he said something. He said something to the leaker like, oh, by the way, you doing this shit, shit's fucked up and you deserve to have your jaw broken is what he said. So what does the leaker do? The leaker's like, all right, well, fuck you. I'm just going to leak all your DMs. And <laughs> you, fucking asshole. And fucking... <laughs> so like everybody gets the DMs and stuff. And what Colton basically tries to do is he's trying to undertake everything. Also, by the way, 
uh, the one person that he wanted the information to go to, Lyrics, is the only one that leaked sensitive information okay, on That's a stream so when he leaked the fucking Discord server, and then Spondile goes in and posts the fucking Camden Gerard Davis's face in the Discord server. I figured so, yeah, out what's wrong with Lyrics. Lyrics needs a second monitor. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. problem. Yeah. He'll probably yeah. stop leaking. He's going to stop sending him stuff, and he's done a really good job. Yeah. But so, Colton, so good Colton, calls the police to ask questions. Bad Colton disappears, doesn't cooperate, um, makes it about himself, yeah. uh, and sends anything to send, who is who's verified. No, no, he doesn't want to say anything to send. He wanted to mm. stop saying. He didn't mm. want, he wanted everything to be sent to lyrics and only lyrics, not Chud Logic, not Kuman. And if you got issues with send, I get it. But at the same time, like if they're all going to get it, all everybody right, should right. get pick it. Pick one. Pick one. Yeah, pick. Yeah. Pick one. You're such an egomaniac. Why didn't you do it yourself? Oh, by the way, Jay. He Jack tried. He tried. He was too late. Yeah. <laughs> like he couldn't, you know, mm. he couldn't get there. Uh, but Let's yeah, see. so he tried. We so believe there is a werewolf vampire cult uh, leader that is allegedly grooming children. What advice do you have? If you believe this is serious and intermediate threat to children safely, is critical to report your concerns to the appropriate authorities. <laughs> Why oh, didn't you? Well, let me, no there way. you go. There you go, Max. <laughs> yeah. Dude, his own lawyer fucking said that. <laughs> His own fucking lawyer, man. <laughs> yeah, his own lawyer. I like this one. Do you see Kite's one? I've been invited yeah. to join a family run by werewolf vampires. Should I join? And the person, the chat GPT says, it sounds like you're describing a fictional scenario. <laughs> werewolf and vampires are typically creative of mythology and fantasy. <laughs> if this is a real invitation in a non fantasy context, it might be a part of a themed event, role playing game, or some other form of entertainment. <laughs> Joining any group or family should be based on personal values, interests, and comfort level, considering the following factors. Go oh, fuck. <coughs> Safety, communication, Tensions, personal comfort, Jesus Safety. Christ. Well, he didn't listen to his lawyer. <laughs> no, man, he didn't. He did not. <laughs> uh, he said no to his to his uh, legal counsel. This is so fucking funny. <laughs> Because there's, I, I, I actually don't believe that um, Max believes that. I believe he believes, and some I talked about in Chad Logic show, that everyone is stupid. I do, and he's like, imagine sitting there talking to Spencer all day. You might, you might start to think you're Einstein, you know, because yeah. I gotta be honest with you, I haven't been terribly impressed with Spencer intellectually. No. What was this? Uh, what's the, the th I'm trying to find this, the video, the why me? I had it on. He actually, well, my, my favorite part uh, about the Spencer stuff with well. Max is like when Max is like, Spencer, what do you think about that? And Spencer's just like, huh? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I zoned out. You know, she could have been a terror victim that needs justice and completely fucking stupid at the same time. Uh, Both things can down. be true. Both things can be very, very true. Those are not my DMs. Uh, okay. Oh, this is the why me. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank With you. With everything else. I, I just want to. I just want to hear the way she talks. I used to lead the children into the gas chamber. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's like that fucking movie. What was that movie that was hidden that that uh, for years? The clown laughs last or something. Oh like my that. god! Yeah, with uh, yeah. Richard well, Lewis. Uh, Richard, uh, uh, yeah, Richard Lewis. Not Richard Lewis. Richard Lewis is a comedian. Um, a different comedian. It's uh, Dr. Doolittle. Yes. What the fuck was his name? He's he's like Bill Eddie Murray. Eddie Mur uh, Eddie Murphy's like favorite comedian. The day the clown cried. The day Jerry the Lewis. clown cried. Still, it's still in a lock and case, and that guy's dead. The guy from uh, King and Comedy. Yeah, uh, Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. That's what it was. Jerry Lewis made a yeah. video where he leads. A Jewish children into a gas chamber <laughs> while dancing as a clown. While dancing as a clown, yeah. and um, it's one of those things where he was—I know what he was trying to do. <laughs> yeah, but because there's sickos like me out there that would fucking re-edit the shit out of it or make a bunch of cracks about it back then, it did never got released. And from what I understand, you know what he was—the movie's about. You could be. Basically, anybody could be a concentration camp card, you yeah. know, and that's a good message. And I see that every day. I see that in Mama Max. Anybody could be a concentration camp card. 
regardless of political uh, ideology. I, Xander Hall, I, I, I don't even think they would give him a test. You, you know what? Here's your shock stick. Go right at it, Xander Hall. I could see that. I see concentration camp cards everywhere, right? Um, but that's what the movie's supposed to be about. But it's just really funny that he made this fucking... And, and by the way, you know, Jerry Lewis is Jewish, too. So <laughs> He wasn't trying to make an attack on the Jews. It was so bad, they were like, oh, we can't put this out. And it was in the 70s. That's how bad that, like, like we can't. Yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. They put anything out in the seventies, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I, I think, I think the sad thing is, they didn't want to, He didn't want to be be made a mockery of. But I know what he was trying to do. He took a big chance, and apparently that thing's in a vault. That movie. With everything else that I've seen from other, I guess, pedo hunters, um, the way Max was going about it in the videos that I had seen at the time. Um, entertaining <laughs> using entertainment it just it, he he was putting himself out there and literally catfishing predators and trying to get that out. no he wasn't by the way catfishing predators I, I i got a challenge it's called the find the pedo challenge you can do it yourself it's called the mama max yeah. challenge go to any fucking chat room say you're 12 and you want to blow somebody it's not that impressive. Evidence. And I was like... You get that Windows sound effect. Dong! Did I ever tell you about my MSN experience, Tommy? What's that? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, when I was a little 12, 13-year-old, I used to go on the internet a lot, you know, yeah. and I'd go on MS... And I, I you know, I liked to... I, I was a little young, little perverted, you know, horny... Yeah kid yeah, sure. so i'd, I'd uh, interact a lot sexually with uh, a lot of people in chat rooms did stuff. you really guys and, too yeah yeah well no no women, women. I, well, well, i'm getting there i'm getting there okay. i'm getting there hold <laughs> on you're gonna ruin the fucking you're gonna ruin the fucking punchline okay uh fucking uh so uh th what what i found was out of all the chat rooms msn was the easiest it was like the easiest to like have like uh, like cyber sex because okay. like like there were a bunch of women that were down all you gotta do is write this and it's boom boom really? boom boom, boom. So, so yeah, I'm, so I'm always getting like laid in Cyberland in like 2003, you know. But um, one three years later, I'm I'm watching the news and I I see its news segment and it's like, so there's a uh, we uh, investigated MSN and we found that there's a lot of pedophiles in the MSN community <laughs> and I'm just like my my mouth drops and I'm like, oh, who who was I messaging? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder if it was, yeah, it was a hot, tall, 26-year-old blonde. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Here, here it goes. But, yeah, and she was relentless. I mean, if yeah, he can do that. all this, maybe... That's it. Stump picks to guys. Stop lying. <laughs> maybe <laughs> we could find a way into the cult one day and get all the evidence and... See, and I, I, I get it. Because it's like incoherent. And trying to get that evidence and i was like i mean if he can do all this maybe maybe we could find a way into the cult one day and do you have a clip of that? get all the evidence and implicate the shit out of camden so I can see Camden got so you know. Here's the thing. That's that's a good another good point to bring up with it, the, why she shouldn't be taken seriously as a pedo hunter, or a personality, or any kind of information. She got sucked into this, assuming the Camden story is true, and that's assuming a lot, right? Um, and she got sucked into Mama Max. Two scammers, one for sex, the other for money. Yep. You're you're discredited right off the bat. Even if you are a victim. And if you are a victim, I hope they throw the fucking guy in jail. But Spencer decided to come out here and say, I got a channel. I want uh, the, Max is going to set me up with being a, 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 a creator, an influencer. <laughs> My personal favorite word. Uh, guess what? Um, here, here's your first lesson. You're back to scammer, whether you knew it or not. And you can't be taken seriously going forward. Even even if even if even if what you're saying is true, which of course there's no evidence of. What are you gonna do? Refer me to the other victims? Here's the difference. 
I'd probably question them. And I think Mudahar talked to some of the other ones too, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he's also he didn't point the finger at any specific one of those girls, but he did he he, he did say this is a guy that claims to have seen what was protected by the NDA. He has talked to some of the victims, and he says there's not, not enough to make a video. I'm pretty sure yeah. that I can take his word for it. Considering, oh, I don't know, that was my guess all along. <laughs> there's nothing here. Shocking. Shocking and appalling. Who would ever Mama saw Max it is coming? putting these women on live streams. All the while, fucking at the end, commentary YouTubers are coming in to argue with Max. Like, I, it's all ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. Why nobody saw it is beyond me. It's just beyond me. It's like I can't even be happy about spiking the football. Because <laughs> I'm a miserable Irish American cunt. <laughs> I can't. I can't even be happy about it. Magnetar, get in here. I want to ask you a question. Can you call in? Is he, is he in the server? Yeah, I think so. He's everywhere. He's, he's, yeah. He should stop being. <laughs> <laughs> but he should come in here right now. Yeah, I think he's in the server. Is he? Call in. Yeah, definitely call in. Because, uh, yeah. I have a question. Because I'm getting interested. I really wasn't impressed with uh, the lyrics interview. But I just want to make it clear. They didn't do anything. They didn't victimize anybody. They just don't have backbones. I think it's... How should you apologize for something you didn't honestly know? And, and Magnetar doesn't even want that. But I can yeah. say they're spineless fucks. For sure. And most YouTubers are like if I if I if I didn't like I'm I'm friends with spineless Fox. I wouldn't have uh, any he's, friends. He's gonna be he's gonna be here in two minutes. Magnetar. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right. Yeah. While we minutes. wait, do you want do you want to check the post, Tommy? We have some breaking news. Sure. Going to the post right now. <laughs> this is versatile. This is a chat GBT. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, what would you say if YouTube personality credited ChatGPT for legal advice regarding decision to <laughs> making to reporting and catching cult leader and is also a pedophile? Well, I can provide general information and guidance on various topics, like sort of like the internet, um, like Google, including reporting illegal activity. I'm not a substitute for professional legal advice. <laughs> you don't say. Could somebody like edit this and have it be Mama Max? Like, why don't you listen to your lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> you never listened to me. <laughs> yeah, you never listened to me. <laughs> you never listened to me. What's, why do you keep coming here? Why don't you just like get rid of your account? You don't listen. Yeah. Uninstall, dude. <laughs> Should I okay, catfish just... pedophiles today, Chat GPT? Mm. What do you say? Is today the day? <laughs> Is the day of the day I put a gun to my head, Chat GPT? Is this it? <laughs> Is this just what you want? <laughs> JJ is subscribed to the channel. Thanks so much. Uh, oh, we oh, might as well do this now. Um, we are going to have an after show today. It'll probably be not too long. The way you get the, if, if, if you want to call in um, and if you have any extra um, talking points or stuff like that, it's always good to do the after show. Um, but you have to sync your membership, Twitch sub or Patreon or Boost. Never can have enough Boost in there. Um, that's the cheapest way to get in the after shows and any extra content and bullshit with me offline and stuff like that. All right, there's my commercial. Super. Yippee yay. Um, I also want to thank somebody. Somebody spent like $100 in video games on me yesterday. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, like me and Tommy got our first. Uh, yeah, The Lost Saint. Thanks so much. They bought me um, the Boomer Shooter Bolt Gun, which is awesome. And then uh, Borders Gate 3. I really appreciate that. Um, also, me and Tommy were able to repeat. We um, and he doesn't even have his headset yet. We 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 got a victory royale, and Tommy's like, "You think we do that on stream?" I was like, "Let's do it." Fired up the stream. Uh, we do gaming streams here. My seven-year-old son and I, game one, 
Victory Royale, baby. <laughs> Victory Royale. All right, Matt Magnetar is in the waiting. Bang a poem. Shot for the point, right. bitch. Look, you could dip out if I'm putting you in a bad spot. All right. Um, did you say something? Did Did you have a run in with Nexpo prior to all this? Magnetar. Hello. I can Magnetar. hear him. Magnetar. Yeah. You can hear Magnetar? I can hear him. Yeah, yeah he just talked. Oh, really? Can uh, then there must be something wrong because uh, I can't. Mm, let's get back in here. Hello, can, can you hear me now? Ear? All right, yeah, it's just that this happens every so often. Idiot study log. Do all the Mama Max. I wish I would have caught that. We even come back, Tommy, see if that'll work. Yeah, you can't hear me now? I can hear him now. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah I can hear him. Can hear I can hear I'm just can reading the fucking... Magnetar? I'm reading a goddamn uh, thing. Shut right. up! Shut up! Okay. All right. Do all Mama Max stuff unfolding. Um, the defense can roll Rule 403, federal law, where the evidence can be excluded due to prejudice and a waste of time. Idiot studying law. Well, maybe you're right. I don't know. Could be. Could be. Magnetar, can you hear me? I can hear you. <clears throat> Did you ever run in with Expo prior to this? The only interaction I've had with Nexpo is I think I tweeted him the initial video when it first came out in July 2022, and then I messaged him on Instagram in like January of last year, telling him I was trying to get a hold of Max or my attorney mm -hmm. was trying to get a hold of Max and asked for contact information if he had it, and I never got a response because I think he only like he has to accept messages. But that's oh, okay. It. That's it. But you never had any kind of exchange with him. Nope. Okay. Why do you ask? What? Um, I thought you did, and I wanted to make sure, and that's not the case, so there's no reason to go on. Thanks thanks for doing the standby. I do need to talk to you privately. Um, that was the other reason I brought you in. We do have to have a chat. Um, okay. But that was it. I just wanted to know. Just wanted to know. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Um, let's go. take calls. Uh, Femwolf, fem fem you're on the air. Oh, I'm on the air. Oh, uh, let, me, let me mute the stream. So, so I don't hear an echo. Hey, how's it going? Get to the Pretty point. Good. You're already on my nerves. <laughs> You're already on my nerves. Uh, I'm not prepared, prepared man. I, I'm kind of nervous. Then don't call. Not in the mood. Here's the thing with like doing a joke or trolling like on here, which is totally encouraged. Get to the point. Like, why would you say how are you doing? Like, just get there. Get there. Also, get like it, just, it has to be funny. Be funny. And be funny, which means you have to get it right, like, immediately. Jesus. C commentary Groot, you're on the air. Commentary Groot. Here you go. Hey, Tommy, how you doing? Uh, how are you? <laughs> Pretty good. That's good. Uh, one thing I don't understand. <laughs> go ahead. All right, go ahead. What do you got, commentary Groot? Okay. Uh, one thing I don't understand is, apart from Spencer, is at what point do the uh, other victims decide, okay, Max is clearly insane, and take the, the case to somebody else? I don't know. I don't want to throw the other alleged victims under the bus yet. I'm only throwing Spencer under the bus because she's become a public figure in my well, he's not, opinion. Well, he's not, he's not saying that. He's saying, when when do they be like, all right, like this enough's enough. Let's fucking take this uh, another route. Max is not the guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what he's trying to I, I don't know. You have to answer. That's a question for them, not me. I mean, I can't answer that. I thought you were kind of getting at something else. I thought you were kind of swinging at them a little bit. Um, I don't no, know. No, no. I, I, I can't answer that. This, this thing's probably already... It's like that last guy said. This thing's already sullied. It's done. It's finished. Nothing's going to happen to him. Like, let me tell you something. If this guy did something and he knows it, he's probably... Because this has been such a farce online, Camden Gerard Davis, he's probably going to walk unless he continues to do it. DJ Scrooge over. How are you doing, Tommy? Better than I. I got 25 bucks. Thank you. <laughs> See, you guys, I know a lot of you are new here. There isn't a... There isn't another YouTuber or, uh, or streamer on the planet that's going to say, Hey, I like money. It's great. No, I, I do it for the children. I'm not just interested. I'm, I care about you. Tell me actually donates all of his money. Yeah. To and to pedophile hunter hunters. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I, I, don't, I really can't answer that commentary. Do you Thanks have a clip call. of that? Thank you so much. Uh, idiots studying law. The defense can also run defamation just like, Ma just like Magnetar due to lack of substantial evidence and the fact that Max, uh, as a platform... 
um, that generates um, substantial income. Uh, lacks substantial income. I, I don't know, man. You're an idiot studying law. What do I know? Um, Liz, you're on the air. Go. Hey, uh, Chud Logic. Hey, you're rated. All right, let's go. You're, you're godlike, Chud. Go ahead. I want to just ask one question. I want to dip. Uh, so, Stop you know how the pick aside bitch. YouTube stuff happened? Do you think if people disavowed that openly, do you think it would have been to the point on like what he's doing now? So, like, let's say the big YouTube yes. is just. Ignored. Yes, yes. If it was just me and a handful of people that said, like, um, that said this is the, 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 he wouldn't have. No, I think it would have gone miles. He definitely. I think he's such a crook that he would have found something else. Yeah. But yeah. he wouldn't have had the advantage that he always Shut had. Boy, bitch. Yeah. Well, no, that's yeah. another yeah. thing. Yeah. But if people were to, like, more people would have called him out during Pick Aside, he would not have had the advantage because he he always used his, he always used his connections to his advantage. I always, Critical I love you, Chud Raiders. I really appreciate all of you. I just got to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to ask. Um, so I'm just going to... Yeah, if you can, I'll just leave now. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think it would have helped if people bitch. got sure, sure. Chuck Logic on the air with the raid. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, right, so I don't want to, you know, ruin your show or anything, but no. I just hop on and just, uh, you yeah, know. I want to have it. You stick around. Maybe you'll help it. How about that? I like, yeah, I sure. liked your, uh, I liked your conversation with Colton. I thought it went very well. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> So Colton said that you made a deal with him, and that's horse shit, because I didn't get through the whole video. What was um, that about? Long story short, Colton was kind of inserting himself and saying different things to different people to kind of was pull he? the strings was to he? try and, you know, be the bro information broker to feel important. Okay, also, he apparently wanted to do his own stream about it for charity, mm. apparently. Um, you know, so kind of some dishonesty and snake behavior from him, unfortunately, that I had to mm. be critical of. And he just laid um, down and fucking just was like, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> well, whether yeah. that was because he was genuinely admitting fault or because I was just, you know, putting pressure on him, I, don't, I can't say. But yeah, he's sure, afraid he, everybody, he's publicly. He's afraid of everybody going after him. He saw See, the it's, 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 it's no big like deal a, if I call you a moron because I call these guy funny. kids morons every day. But it is kind of a big deal if a new group of people like Chud Logic's audience <laughs> decides <laughs> to go pick it on him. So he's like, you're right! You got me! <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I did. I don't know. I mean, it's funny as well, because actually what he was talking about maybe covering was the topic that you're talking about, which is this narrative that maybe Spencer mm. is uh, a lot more involved than people have thought, right? Yes. I'm yeah, right. So. I, think it, I think it's possible to ask the question. And there is a po there's another possibility. There's an intellectual deficiency point, here, bitch. which he's displayed okay. in some of these things. Like, God, I haven't even played the end of this. Holy shit, listen to this. For Christ's sakes. Go. What part about Max's investigations really drew you in? Just his persistence on it and <laughs> not giving up on it. Like, it didn't matter what anyone else had to say. He doubled down. He gave up on, he gave up on every... He, he never gave up on anything he didn't accomplish. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> you know? That's how I feel with the few people that are still in support of Max in this situation now. I, I feel that they felt the same way that I did then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Moon. Uh, no doubt some of these women felt wrong to victimize, uh, but Max and his Messiah complex had to twist an occult sex ring horror flick instead of directing them. Yep, exactly what I said months ago, buddy. <laughs> I said it two years ago. Everybody ignored me. Have you seen some of the... Chud Logic, have you seen some of the... Um, the guys like um, Nexpo and um, <laughs> uh, Leon Lush. But no, no, no I'm actually going to stick up for him. Demanding, the public okay. is demanding apologies from them. How do you feel about that? Because I'm a little uncomfortable with that, yeah. even, to, uh, to be honest with you. So I think demanding an apology is the wrong way to go about it. I don't really like that approach. And it's often like the leftoid, you know, or the media might say the liberal thing to do, to apologize, apologize. Yeah. I think the better thing to do is, if you're going to do it, is you know not to suck my own dick but like i tried to do this with mutaha as much as his fans hated it yeah. i think lyrics did it really well but it's just to talk to them and just to, if there is resistance to coax out you know an admittance of fault in certain areas that you think are deserving mm. of admitting fault right i think it's a better way to go about it and it's much more 
substantive mm. than just apologize for this thing. You know, oh, yes, I'm sorry that happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. It, that being like, said, oh, yeah, I did that, that being said, I am not yeah. impressed with either of them at any level. Sure. Why? Why am I letting Mudahar off the hook? Because Mudahar called me during the completion and stuff and said, "Tommy, I'm a man of my word. I will see this through." So for for you like. He, he did look Max. into it. And yeah. yes, those guys didn't look into it either. But when I heard Nexpo on lyrics, he's like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> didn't do right. nothing. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was just like lame, lame. Max is a completely different person, you know, person, you know, like he, he said that Max kind of set him up once and said, can you, can you do a video? Sure, I can do a video for you, buddy. And then when he saw the video, it was something completely different. Yeah. Why did now's the time? Like, all right, that guy fucked me. What's going on over here? I didn't look into it. You know why? I don't want to be called yeah, a pedophile. Yeah. So well, not impressed. Not impressed by Leon Lush. Not impressed. In by my research, in my research on Max, I can tell like Mama Max is like the typical YouTuber who camouflages himself with ever any community he joins. So when he did commentary, he was hanging out. He got in with all the commentary guys like yeah. LC Alien and Zaptai, those guys. Sure. And then when he wanted to, he started watching this dark content like scary stories. So he saw Nexpo was like the big guy. Muda did the dark web stuff. Mm -hmm. So he started getting in with those guys, sure. and making connections there. Sure. So he's like, he's really just another YouTuber way. is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Just another YouTuber. And by the way, by the way, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing for career building and getting into the new communities and building your brain. You almost have to do that. Otherwise, you're going to be a loser like me. All right. I got that. My problem with these people is when they put their self in the, and Elvis the Alien is a per person, you know, it's, um, it's, it's National Mental Health Month. And I just wanted to tell everybody how important it is. They start to become advocates and uh, the, like, I'm a good person uh, uh, sort of mark on them. That's what I don't like. I don't care that they build their career. Like, I have no problem with Mr. Beast at all. I'm sure he fucking cut every throat and did whatever he had to do to move up the ladder as quick as he could. Um, that's fine. But I don't, Mr. Beast just makes entertainment. He doesn't preach to me. So, so like, just like want, wanting to be a hero, pretty much. Yes, that the makes me hero nuts. Complex, that yeah. makes me nuts. Do you want to uh, pull up Xylee, by the way? He's in waiting. Do you want to talk to Xylee, Chud Logic? Yeah, sure. She's a. Big, I mean, it's your show. Do what you do. She's you a wish. bumpkin. Alabama she's, Lab she's is a waiting. Latina, Let's pull up uh, Alabama Lab. Man. <laughs> I, like, I love Zylie. Z -Z 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 Zylie, how are you, sweetheart? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Uh, uh, better that you're here. Um, oh, yay! Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, thank you. I think. Uh, I think Spencer's a lot smarter than what people are giving her credit for. What do you say? I think there is a karma situation going on where Max has been fooling his friends, fooling everybody, and now he's getting fooled. By her? In a sense, yeah, I, you know, possibly. Well, I will like, say this. Like I, I will say this. Manipula I, I've noticed this throughout my life. Maybe you've seen this, Chud. Manipulative people tend to fucking congregate. Yes. Yes. In my lifetime, that's what I've seen. Like, they, and everybody's just like eating each other. So I, I wouldn't, you know, look, you have no proof of that. Either do I. But I, I have seen that pattern of behavior before. So, well, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying that she's not a victim of Camden in any way. I'm not yeah. saying that. Okay? Well, nobody I'm knows. Nobody knows if that's though. true or not. So there's no reason not to say it. You know? Right. Okay. But I'm but I'm but I'm but I'm separating it because at the same time, she was really like even in the beginning. It was like, oh yeah, they have a let's get them. They have a lot of followers. Let's get them. They have a lot of subs. And it's like, girl, what? Yeah. You know, and she's really, really, really into what influence and the fact that she's using influencers in the first place, we don't call ourselves influencers. We call ourselves YouTubers. Yeah, only normies say that. It, exactly. Yeah. I think I I I think she's a little starstruck and she, and that's what she wants to do. Oh. She wants to do this for money. Yeah, sure. Who doesn't? I think the starstruck claim is actually okay, really buddy. good and I think you can subtly notice there's that sensation almost of her speech and the way she's talking. She is yes. feeling good about speaking to these big creators and engaging with them, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do, do you remember the first live stream she did with Max uh when they brought up Pew PewDiePie and she was like, "Oh man, if PewDiePie actually talks about me, oh, I, 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 I die. That would be so cool. Like, that was, you know, like. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there you go. 
Then somebody wrote just so, Shiloh all over again. Boy, it does feel like the whole thing feels a Nisianish, a Nisian like. A Nisianish. I think it's made up a word. Moon. Hey, Max, are those QR cord responses to Tommy from Pick a Side, age like milk, buddy. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Is he watching? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Well, the problem is now as well is so Spencer has got, you know, not just the financial incentive. Yeah. Um, she's also got this clout incentive because the more outlandish the story becomes, the bigger it gets, the more people might cover it in her mind at least. So she's got every incentive to embellish and make it as big That's as the whole problem with them can. living her, living with her. It's like she kind of discredits yeah. herself by living with him. It's like, it's like a streamer house. It's not even a goddamn, uh, you know, it's not even setting out what, they, what they're what they set out to do. And I, 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 I think, I, I really, I hope Max got his investment back because there's like all these streams where he looks back at her to kind of support him and... She just looks like, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I like these all I had, these moments. Like, <laughs> I had one of my I had one of my viewers say something to me and I was like, Oh, that makes sense. Where in the quote unquote cult, all right, she went like from second in command and recruiting people. And it's almost like she went from one to another for the same position. Yeah. I don't just know, like it's... the mafia, dude. It makes sense. She's the fucking capo regime. Well, I, I that's I said that on Chud So. I said that what what I feel is going on here and is is like, yeah, you have a nice store here. Um be shame if it caught fire. Or YouTube sense, it's like, hey, you got a nice channel here. It'd be shame if everybody thought you're a pedophile, <laughs> you know? And then yeah. this 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 but proved I am it being to me. The nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could. L this is the, the at least he thought he was a gangster, you know. Yes, that 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 ends it for me completely. I will not. That's why it's difficult for me to listen to anybody that claims they were fooled. <laughs> like I just can't. I mean, I think that's how. Like he Nexpo got my and and Leon Lodge could have been totally fooled. And I think I the just whole friend group was. Can't deal with it. You know. I think their whole friend group was fooled by him. Honestly, I think their whole friend group. I think their whole friend him. group, even if they weren't fooled or got suspicious, wouldn't have done anything about it and just went along with anything. I, yeah, I think his friend group are retard. <laughs> yeah, dude, <he> never <laughs> dude, his whole friend group never watches fucking videos. Yeah, that is hilarious. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, yeah, isn't that I true though? I don't watch. Friends, I don't watch so. everything Xyli does. I don't watch everything. Let's be honest here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, did you see that's, my new... That's what I said. It's like Chris the Nark. Me and Chris the Nark are friends. I watch I never maybe 5% like of his stuff. I, yeah. I don't know what he's saying on his live. Uh, at least like you get the gist of his of his content. While they know nothing about now his I got content. people coming up to me. Okay, yeah. Chris the Nark said this, right? Like, mm -hmm. because a lot of the stuff he covers the same stuff I do. So I don't need to hear his side of it. I do my side of it. I'm an egomaniac. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I want my side. Yeah, I don't care what he's got so, to say so about like, it. I don't I'll care about what I got to say about it. I'll get a clip from Chud or something like <laughs> that. And, um, uh, like, that. that's really cool. And maybe I'll continue to watch it or not watch it. I can't watch streams. Or... But if Chris and Ark did, 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 went to you, Tommy, and was like, hey, I want you to come on do a video with me where you support my talking point. I you're would... like, sure. I'd want and to then know. Then he fucking changes up the talking point uh, as the video's released that you had know nothing about. I'd have lit him up on here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I would have went live make... and, and, oh, no. That's Everybody the difference. Everybody would have known about that. That's the difference. Yeah, Nexpo was like, shut the fuck I'm up. really yeah, upset yeah. that you did that and I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, right after pedophile. that, you're, 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 you're assuming there's people trying to stop us and there's innocent Jeff and me in the picture. <laughs> And then Poor in the boy, summer of 2022, yeah, but, but, he's going it. Yeah, I know how they adjust it. Oh, Tommy's loud. I don't like him. He criticizes my friends. I'll just keep my mouth shut. Yeah. Yeah, but but it's it's so crazy because to me, you know, I'm not a particularly egotistical person. I don't think. But like some of these other big YouTubers are massively egotistical. But they let Max run roughshod over them, put them in a video they don't even fucking agree with, and well, they're all they're stupid about it. It's stupid. It's stupid. Is it people. maybe because they didn't want to look dumb in front of their audience? Don't you think that dim people are attracted to this uh, to some extent? Especially the it... the higher ends, like if you want to be an influencer, like in a Jake Paul level or something like that. Don't you don't you think like the dimmest are attracted to this? In my, I mean, yes, I know I'm not that smart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not either, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Don't say that. I'm not not for those Yankees. <laughs> I have street smarts. 
I have street smarts. Yeah, so well, I know. like to think I do they too. I do, smart. I do. I mean, like one of the one of the biz examples, um, you, a present company, well, more than excluded, because I think Ch Chud is has a great command of the English language. He's very smart. He's insightful and entertaining. But the uh, the so called bread tube crowd are some of the dimmest. But that's I, I, where the most like like dim sociopaths are attracted to power. There's more power in being the political um, head of YouTube, uh, Hassan, than there is being the, the the shock jock wannabe. Yeah, you know. I I got a different theory. Go ahead. What like to me? What way I'm thinking is I'm thinking Nexpo and Mama Max are actually kind of close to where they've showed personal stuff about each other, where they know about personal lives, maybe some embarrassing things and stuff. And sure. I think Nexpo might might have been afraid to push Max on something because sure. he feels like Max. I could give him a little credit. You know what it is? You know what it is, man. I would have t like look. They knew each other. You always give your friends a benefit of that. Somebody did something to the Chud or, or God Nick or anybody else. I'm probably gonna say something stupid because it's like that. Reaction when you hear somebody dies. What's the first word out of your mouth? No, right? Yeah. So you, that's normal. That that's forgivable. That's human. I wouldn't be human if I didn't do it. But I don't know. Just listening on lyrics, it just looked like a dance. Don't blame me too. <laughs> you know, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, I didn't a call dance. anybody a pedophile. Okay. Can I blame well, him for making I... that dance? Can I blame him for it? No. But he gets no hero points. That's all I'm saying. I feel like I'm making the same I, argument that I, I mean, made I wouldn't about. give him hero points. You're, you're, but yeah. Your Go point ahead. is friend, right? My point is fear. I think, like, my mm. point is, it's coming from like I. They fear Mama Max because what he's. Oh, going oh yeah, I, I think it's both. I think it's. I think it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's fear, then you know, like I said, no hero points. Well, that's yeah. the worst thing you can be called on the internet. Mm. That's the worst thing you can be called is a pedo. Yeah, I know. And they have they have these huge platforms, so obviously they wouldn't be called that. And yeah, Matt, you're probably right because they were IRL friends. Funny. They hung out a lot with each other. Yeah. So yeah, he probably does know intricate details of certain parts of his yeah, life or but, whatever. But, but what but I'm, I'm saying, I feel Zylie, sorry for the friend group. Zylie, what I'm saying, what I'm, I, I don't know if I've, I don't feel sorry for any of these millionaires. All right, <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Zylie. No. Give me a break. Give me a break. T Tommy, you're you're hitting on something really important here because yeah. I experienced this with like Mutaha mm -hmm. and Derek's experiences too. Even though he was like a pro probably less abrasive than I was, mm -hmm. but you get all these fans that come in. And it's like these guys fucked up pretty bad mm -hmm. and even if they're looking to make it right which is good they're acting like you're bad for putting any pressure on them when they yeah. fucked up and they admit they fucked up well because like, that's no, the these, these deserve a bit of heat i think yeah right? that's, the, that's the, the, nobody yeah. ever said hey i mean even that the commie fucking transgender person fucking took it better than they did <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh my god. Yeah, oh they my did. God. Instead of like freaking out, it's like, all right, this is the. Because uh, I remember when Kraut got. Oh god, Kraut. I, I still maintain he didn't dox Coach Red Pill, uh, but he was de definitely played fast and loose with his, his, um, his personal information, for sure, which he's admitted, right? I expected when I said, I'm. Look, I'm kind of absolving myself of this situation. I'm not making comment one way or another, but I want to make it clear. I'm still, this, this man's still my friend and he will always be my friend, which I'm glad I did. I took tons of shit from that whole alt-right crowd. Tons of shit, but I knew it was coming. I didn't cry about yeah. it. I didn't panic about it, you know? And they had their eyes on me. Medigar had his eyes on me after that. And it just, it comes like, it's like, why can't become a public figure? And think you're gonna, you're like, what are these people that go to basic training and like, I'm gonna get through the whole basic training without the drill sergeant yelling at me? No, you're not. <laughs> you know, no, you're not. And and it's like, I'm gonna get it, and no one's ever gonna hate me, like Miss Mr. Beast, even though tons of people hate him. I don't know. It's so weird. I got into this because I was gonna be in controversial pit situations. I, when I was doing hockey, I dreamed about being in controversial situations. And, you know, when baited happens and I, I you know, I got guys like Elvis the Alien following me, Leon, and I just find out they're just a bunch of cowards. <laughs> you know, they're just a bunch of weak, limp-wristed, not in the gay way, just in a weak way, I suppose. All right, they're gay, forget it. Um, <laughs> oh my God, Tom. Um, it just, <laughs> Uh, in 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 every in in every way, it's just like God. They, and they and they criticize like clown used to tell me this. He would say, like, watch me post something and make a video about it. And he would make this sort of grandiose grandstandy type situation, 
right? And then you'd see like a day or two later, like a guy made a video on it. You know, one of the people in that English commentator realm that was all around between like 18 and 20 at the time. I think that goes on and like, that's like, all right, there are a bunch of kids with, with computers, but I think it goes on in like late twenties, thirties, forties, and fifties and beyond. It's just like, nobody criticizes anybody unless it's safe. Oh, clown said it. Let's go. You know, let's go. And I just, to me, I cannot be super excited uh, other than the people that actually did the work. Um, like mood on, uh, mood on Nick about like him finally being called. I mean, this could have been wrapped up 2020. The guy called in before just an hour ago, and here's what he says. Um, and he, uh, oh God, I already fucking lost my train of thought. Um, do you think if anybody would have stood up and say, uh, and kind of rejected the community, kind of rejected the uh, wake up YouTube thing, that this would have got as far? And I, I definitely wouldn't have. I definitely would have. <laughs> Mama Max, you are yeah, right well, about me. I'm a scam artist. That's I don't think it would have worked back then, especially mm. with that um, uh, YouTube pick a side. I don't think it would have worked back then, honestly. Because I think if, you were, if people rejected it. Because of the it, word pedophile. If people rejected him and that whole fucking, all right, Max, this is going too far, he wouldn't have attacked Charlie one day. That's definitely true. Because it wouldn't have been financially yeah. viable. Because that's yeah. all I think this was at the end of the day. It was about Shut being point, vile, viable financially. Thanks for all the subs. I do appreciate it. It's been a nice day. Well, it's 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 funny because you know I was kind of um, looking back because this this uh, Camden stuff came out in November, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's yes. like there could have been something about it there, but there just wasn't the the right attention or energy. Like our conversation mm -hmm. about it back in November, roughly or whatever it was, sure, probably got like been. well, it was already December, but it was in relation to what came out in November. It got like. 6,000 views. Like, no one yeah, cared about it at the time. No one cared. Right? Mm. Um, so, you know, and that goes back further as well. Like, you've spoken about it, but there's been other times where he could have got called out and he wasn't. Like, mm. this, it, potentially, if it had been done correctly, like, Magnetar would have never got called a pedo. Like, but, you know, it's like you say, people don't want to come out strongly yeah. unless there's big pressure against it, right? And, and they kind of want to be on the right side. Or it's like a path of least yes. resistance type thing, if, if it's easy. And I'm just sick of, like, a lot of these, they're just, they're just YouTubers, which is fine, right? And they just put themselves in like this high, like I stood up to this. I thought you waited till it was fucking safe. All right. Uh, yeah. Are you talking about maybe getting in an argument with Mama Max and then getting rid of your Twitter because you got shamed and apologize yeah. after? Tipster. Tipster. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Mister, I, I stood up. I stood up to him. Me and Tommy, we did it together. No, bitch, yeah. you ran. Tommy did. Run for a Love back in the chat. I decided to go back to hentai reviews and get flamenco to help. <laughs> Jesus. I would listen to that podcast, Mama Max and Flamenco. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that'd be great. That would be awesome. There's a podcast oh my for God. you. All right, let's no. let's lay. I think we've covered everything, right? Let's just let's let's kill the calls, right? Let's get through them. Um, let's go through. You bet. Here's the rule. Um, you, you better be good. I'll throw gang up on you. That's that's basically it. Uh, uh, Dat boy here on the air. Um, can I say a uh, tinfoil hat theory real quick? Go ahead. Just on my mind. Just get to the point, though. All right. So, um, so I, I've just been looking at all the drama, the the new okay, call buddy. from Nick, and I just find it very odd. Like one one thing that I really find odd about it is like, why would someone self-destruct the way that he's doing right right and i feel like i have a tinfoil hat about it because like some things i've heard was pretty absurd like the fact that he uses chat gpt as a lawyer like it's just it's ridiculous right, right what's your theory and, though you're not telling me what your tinfoil hat theory is yeah so my theory is i feel like that he i feel like originally this was supposed to be a grift right but i feel like because it failed right and because it failed i feel like he's trying to steer uh, the gears really quickly and he's trying to like change things to make a cult following that would consistently give him money and the reason why i think this is because like his wording like his wording is really specific like if you watch his videos he says don't look at their words uh look at their actions right and i find that really per peculiar guy i predicted this two years ago the whole thing was a scam yeah, like, for like two years ago. Yes, he that's, already that's, has a cult following that gives him money. Yeah. That's how he gets the money. That's how he, he, has a cult and that's how he keeps him in. I, I said this is a scam or fucking racket two years ago. 
yeah, that, that, that's what I'm, yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. I feel they, like he's trying to appeal to that cult audience, right. not us. You should have made a video. You should have made a video two years ago, and then fucking everybody figured it out. Thanks no, dunking call. on you is more important, yeah. Tommy. <laughs> All right, what's this guy called before? Femwolf. Don't be too stupid. Sorry, I don't think Black Hill is real. I mean, I think it's all fake. Mom Max made the whole shit up. Okay. All right. Probably did. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. Oh, sure. then. Flash, you're on the air. Oh, yeah, I didn't really have anything to say. It's just the highest point in your career. In, like, oh, shut up, you fucking Canuck. Bye. Um, <laughs> um, hero, homo, whatever your name is. Go, you're on the air. Go. Yeah, so uh, something that I was thinking, do you think Magnetar's like a lawyer thing was uh, Max baiting him into kind of like admitting something so that he can say later, look, I was right. He actually is that guy. Huh? I don't, I don't, I'm confused. Oh. Do you, do you remember how um, basically when Magnetar re uh, received emails from uh, Max, he was asking Magnetar to kind of... Uh, sign a document where it says that uh, he's a, yeah, I'm a pedophile, yeah, I did this, I did that. Oh, did oh, oh, you're talking about the the, the fake lawyer stuff that they yeah, said? Yeah, 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 yeah so probably. he was fishing for a thing. Magnetar's here. Like, Do you think that was, like, chat GPT generated or uh, Magnetar or just totally phony? Magnetar's yeah, I'm here. thinking that uh, basically he generated all this stuff to kind of, you know, uh, scare Magneta to sign something that uh, he doesn't want. It's kind of like, you know, how he did a sting operation where he was in DMs with pedophile and, uh, you know, he was pretending to be 14 year old. It's kind of- What do you like think, Magneta? He pretending. was trying to social engineer. How yeah. did I get into this call? I, I put because you were waiting you to call you, you fucking left. normie. Yeah, you never left. I, mean, I wasn't normie. even at my computer. I wasn't. You know, a completely you, you, different know you know why? You know why? I think it's awful that you were called a pedophile. But there's one part about me that likes it. You know that? You know what part of that is? The sick part. That would that would be true. But Magnetar, are you there? Yeah, I'm. I'm here. You know, you know, I, like, like you know why? Like, like there's a little tiny evil part of me that's glad everything happened to you the way it did. Isn't that awful? I mean, do you want to know why? Sure, go for it. You have your fucking profile, your fucking pronouns, and your fucking profile. You I'll got what you deserve. You, <laughs> <laughs> Obama. Obama. <laughs> God, it happened to the lefty. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. By the way, no, dude, you're fine. All right, I love you to death. All right, stay in the call. We'll take any. Let's take everybody. Danny, uh, 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 yes, you're right. Bye. Thanks for the call, Danny. You're on the air. I don't know what that guy's talking about. What's the diameter of your belly? Big. <laughs> Very big. Jesus Christ. Like, I, come on. I, I, like, bad jokes are more than welcome. <laughs> you but got, like, a funny. bunch of people in here. Ask some, fun, ask some good fucking questions. What does he think I'm going to do? Well, uh, when, when I was about 15, I didn't have such a big belly, but then uh, I did. And, like, uh, like are we, we're going to do wings thing? Oh, that, we, that, yeah, that's your wings? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go into a long explanation about the size of my belly. I quit smoking back in 2018. I ate like a pig prior to that, and I can't seem to stop. There you go. And then I got, and I have a stint in my heart, so I got what I deserved. Like Magnetar got what he deserved. Um, lady nerd artist, you're on the air. Hi. So hey, what's I up? have a theory sure. that Let's Spencer is lying about all this. The who? Spencer? I'm kinda yeah. wondering myself, but I don't know for a fact. I honest I honestly think at this point, who would be batshit enough? To believe half of her story. I'm sorry. Well, you can be very but, stupid, and that's very possible. They, they, like, yeah. what are they? What's that saying, Chud? But, Never put conspiracy uh, where like, stupidity could be explained. What's the fucking line? You know that one? Well, this is the kind of speaker that makes Marines look like rocket scientists. <laughs> They're not that stupid. I was in the. I'm uh, the I'm my ex, husband is not that. Dumb, I'm ex you, I'm ex army. You military bigot. <laughs> like, what? What? No, I'm not. Listen, I'm not. I just think things are the best. You think, all right, fair enough. You're, and you're allowed to think that. That's okay. Thanks for the call. I do appreciate it. You military bigot. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Although, Tylee's husband is really stupid. <laughs> it's just like, Listen, God. just because he eats crayons, okay? Leave him yeah. alone. This is the way the show is normally, by the way. <laughs> Cuban, you're on the air. Cuban. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's going on? Uh, I had a... Well, once. holy shit, you have a long Discord entrance voice. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, change that, dude. <laughs> Sorry, it's annoying someone else. No, um, I was like, do you actually like think it's like 
I mean, how much longer do you think Mama Max before, like, he just implodes on himself and quits the internet? That's what I have. Hold on a second. Hang on. The hell is Tommy doing? What was your question? How long do you think before Mama Max just implodes on himself and just quits the internet? I don't know! I think it'll be a while! What do you think? I, 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 I give it six months. I don't know. I'll get through... I give him six months to six implode. Months. Six months. I think I think he's a the ultimate sociopath, and he's gonna be like, I can do this and talk his way out of that. Well, no. I hope he does it on a live stream so I can stream snipe it and get the views. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Well, he's oh, not gonna sorry. do that. He's gonna take any time. Well, to find I, I tell you what. I tell you what. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, thanks for the call, by the way, Cuban. I do have. I like. I, I'm normally pretty good at doing this, right? Remember, everybody time that everybody says you, 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 you're suing, you're suing. I'm suing. I always like no one's suing nobody, and I usually get it right. I got like 99.9 percent .9 accuracy rating on when the YouTuber says they're going to sue and they never do. I'm not given a 90th percentile to um, Mama Max not suing Mudahar. Here's why. There's a couple reasons for it. Necessity. He's out of a job. It's it's pretty clear. He doesn't have another one. I'm pretty sure, and. It might be the type of thing in order to recoup the damages that he created. Getting money from Muda would probably be the only way. I don't know if he has a lot of options to recoup because after this, also, unless he changes his name again, and I don't know if that'll even count. Um, Max Stryker is unemployable, uh, unemployable at McDonald's right now. So, I th do I think it'll work? Do I think he might bankrupt himself doing it? Sure. I think Max has a 75% chance of suing Muda. You think so? Go. Yes. Initiating Ooh. lawsuit. Not go, not going through, not winning, not initiating. Because where else does he earn? He's unemployable. He's exposed. I don't know. He, he may file and they said, hey, uh, this NDA shit doesn't fly in goddamn Canada. Right, and out the door, and that's it. But what options does he have? All he needs to hear, because he's stupid, is some Canadian lawyer saying, "Yeah, we, we got you. You'll, you'll you'll be a millionaire when we're done. We're gonna take this guy for everything. You're a victim, right?" And he signs on, pays that guy his hundred grand or whatever the fuck it is, and then nothing happens. This never happened before. I can't believe it. I thought we were a shoe in. You know how divorce lawyers talk to their fucking victims, like me. I remember when that bastard came to me. She's a bitch. She's terrible. She victimized you. You're going to get her money. I am? Yes. Court gate comes. Lose like everything. Need... This never happened before. <laughs> you know? I feel like we need a intellectual to help us with this. Oh, Extreme no. Dad is in, is in Wayne. <laughs> okay, where is he? Where is Extreme Dad? Oh, there he is. Yeah, first first one. Extreme Dad, you're on the air. Another uh, false pedophile accusee. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh my god. Yeah, he was falsely accused by Xander Holm, yeah. never apologized for it. And then that Xander that Holm other Bush. fat fuck Irish laddie fat fuck. Um oh, go Bush. ahead, uh Extreme Bad. Bush. Embarrass me. Well he's muted right now. He's muted. Oh, god. He's just thinking too hard. It's fine. Yeah. You guys I, need a do laugh. You think Spencer, do you think Spencer and Max are going to turn on each other? Yes. Probably. Guaranteed. But think about it. turn now, Spencer. You probably have your best chance of building a fucking influencer. Oh ship. yeah, if it's gonna be, it's gotta be now for her. Yeah, to it's like, gotta be now. Yeah. You gotta get out of the house. It's gotta be now. Yeah. I know. I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. Yeah. She has a place to live, so it kind of keeps her. Uh, I'm just wondering, twit longer Google Doc or TikTok is gonna be one of the mm. two. Yeah, Zyli, would you let her move in if she needs a new place to stay? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, Extreme Dan, would you extreme allow Dad, you're Spencer to move into your house? Uh, who? Yeah, Spencer, to move into your house. Um, I, I mean, I'm kind of crazy like that, so I actually might, but um, yeah. I guarantee you she's lying. Yeah, why do you think that? Thanks. She wanted to fuck Mama Max. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Keep going. Shut, everybody shut <laughs> up and let the man talk. Guarantee you, guarantee you that this is all because she had a crush on him. At, like, she was, he was her favorite YouTuber or something. Uh -huh. And he was like, how can I exploit this, make all this up, lie about this, and I'll maybe fuck you one day. And um, 
that's that's why she's lying about everything. That's why he refers back to her all the time. Like, oh, we got to wait for Spencer to see what Spencer wants to do. Because he knows that she's in on the grift and she's in on the lie. But I'm just curious, um, how did they get you to make that video about Camden Gerard Davis, uh, Tommy? I made a video on Camden Gerard Davis? Yeah, yeah. There's a video of you being like... Um, Oh, Camden Gerard Davis, like blah blah blah. Like a bunch of creators did it, but I was just wondering like, how did they get you to do that? Yeah, I made that. Yeah, made how did they get you to do it though? Was there a group oh, chat? Like what was the Nick, Oh, okay, just send in your phone thing. Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, did, Nick messaged that, them on Discord. Extreme Dad, you it's know that, that was satirical, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a joke. That wasn't legit. Wait, yeah, I wasn't really telling people wait, to help you Mama made... Max. I promise you. Wait, what do you mean? Everybody made their everybody was being legit in that those clips. No, they weren't yes. being legit. Shop the point. Bitch. It was all legit. I, I, that never well, made, I guess. Oh my god. Okay. I guess I don't know. I don't. I thought everybody was making them legitimate. I don't know. I didn't get the joke. If, if yeah, that's well, what I see that. that. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, you thought uh, Nicholas Diorio sounded. You like know, it. there was a moment like this on. Um, Shot from the point. Does anybody have the <laughs> clip? <laughs> this happened once before. I'd like to oh, share it with everybody. <laughs> And extreme. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, stick around. We'll play. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, wasn't, there, wasn't there a clip in there of someone saying the Chinese Communist Party calls out Camden Gerard Davis? Oh, yeah, it was Doc on the radio. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Uh, that was also true, by the way. It that, that was also it was legit also, as well. Yeah. It was also just a joke? No, no, it was true. Yeah, China's going after Camden. Absolutely, hundred percent. Well, like Nick contacts. We we uh, absolutely need that clip. Like yesterday, guys. I don't know. Oh, what I can't happened. find. I can't find it. Anywhere. What the fuck was it called? It's oh my god! Up. It was called um, "Guy Fight with a Nicholas Diorio Soundboard." What do you oh, mean? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Guy, uh, thank Good you. Job. <laughs> 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 Thank, so, so you remember it, huh? Extreme Dad. <laughs> so I, I just, I, I, I just, uh, I want you to, I want you to like uh, remember what just happened. Um, yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. Yeah, you yeah. Got me I good know too. Day. Trust it's me. In, it's in your DM. You got me style. good. You got me good. Oh, you got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, got yes, you good is right. All right, here. Uh, hold Turn on. your uh, right. screen. Shut screen. up! I'm doing it. Here we go. Uh, screen on, sure. Uh, oh, oh God, God, no! Extreme Dad, you're on the air. Pick up, fuckhead. Listen, fuckhead, you better pick up. Like, What's going on, my man? The, the, not much. Three years ago. It was just before I moved here. So, what, what's your take? Stop the point, bitch. Well, actually, I'm... This is around the time of the original Mama Max stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It actually was. You know, you don't have Nick in here today, and I wish you did, because... Okay. Do you know who... Oh, Nick's in here? Oh, hey, what's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So go ahead and jump around. That damn okay. You know Xander Hall? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, funny thing is, I did a similar, I had a similar bit where I went and debated Xander Hall, you know, and I, I kind of came on and I was like, what's up? You know, I did my thing, you know what I mean? How was I ever so stupid? And then um, everything was chill and, like, everything was fine. And then him and his friend Vosh decided to make up this conspiracy that I was a pedophile, True. right? True. And like, okay. totally, listen, hear me out. Not like, not like misinterpreted some shit, like made okay. something up. And so I just think that like, that's kind of commonplace, you know what I mean? In these like communities. And okay. so like, and I just, I find you personally responsible for that, Nick. Neighbor. I just think that you personally, you platformed Xander Hall. You didn't even call him out on that shit. You know, like, how how are you gonna do that, bro? That's pretty fucked okay. up. You guys let the joke go on for you know way too long. Okay. You should have told me sooner. This is just cruel at this point. It's funny. Shut up. Did, did you get what what you wanted to say you, off your chest? You actually, you actually, <laughs> dude, you, dude, you actually fucking left him speechless. You might have won for one. Yeah, Jesus. What do you have, like, what do you have, Nick, what do you have to say for your Where record? are you, Nick? What's the matter? Oh, that was fucking wonderful. Oh, yes. That was wonderful. You guys are so mean. Listen to you. This is you attacking Nick DiOrio and fucking that same community ended up helping you out. Give him. 
You he, couldn't explain I, I anything. That's why we couldn't go after Xander Hall and because and you couldn't explain yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, I, fair I enough. Because you really were a victim. The reason why everybody called me a pedophile. I know. I, I, know, I literally, I know. if I ever ran in Xander Hall, I would get in his face right away. I mean, and, and say, like, do you ever do any? If I, I swear to God, him I would. Or Vosh, I swear to God, it's serve on site. Well, Vosh there. talked to you, but he danced around you. He's like, oh, I'm not true. sure. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but no, like, if I, I, I would get right in Xander Hall's face. See what you okay. yeah, what's Are you apology? going to make a video on Mama Max? No, but I am going to. Um, what I do want, Tommy, and I need your help with this. Sure. I do. I uh. Well, before you say sure, you hear me out. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do you need? I, we'll I never know. Hey. <laughs> you get to the point. <laughs> Hi, thanks for work calls. Might as well. Poor extreme dad. Yeah, poor extreme like dad. Uh, Leah something. Get to the point. And what, what's Leader doing here, too? Did I pull him in by accident? Right. No, you oh, pulled Leader. Right, I pulled in Leader by accident. All right, go ahead. Leader, get out of here. Um, well, uh, I was going to say, I'm not sure how much of this you've covered, but I mean, I think probably, I mean, she isn't, is Spencer the one living with, with the, yes. um... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like looking up. Is she the one also looking after the legal case? If I'm, if I, I'm I've honest? been told, but I, I, she could barely look after herself. So I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> you know. When Mama Max said that to me, it just seemed like such an accountability thing because, like, it's like, well, it's definitely I'm a conflict of interest, the... and we have talked about it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, but... Thanks for the call. I'm going through the calls quick now. Okay, though, leader. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, Leah, something. Leah, something. You're on here. I just think it's funny that uh, that red pegging girl hates <laughs> what the Anglos did to the Irish. But Me too. Like, I do I, too. I'm of Irish uh, descent. Right. You know what my last name is? Callanan. It used to be called O'Callaghan, but the British, they killed my, me, me uncle and, and took it away. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with the English in Ireland is we didn't go far enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, God. <laughs> that is so base. You know, my uncle couldn't get his potatoes, and so he had to go to Newark, New Jersey, because of you, you dirty limey. I had to no potatoes, and I have to go to Newark. You this torture. Well, actually, you know, we've got some shared heritage because I'm oh, really? an eighth Irish. My great grandfather was. You're Irish. poor. You come from working class background. Of course, you have to be a little. Unless we're all a uh, you and all the other. <laughs> I believe it completely. You, you guys should fight now. You should what? have like a knife fight or something. <laughs> Actually, you should have a knife fight. I love England. I love Europe. I love Ireland. Well, yeah, they're too. not Puerto Rican. Um, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, true. That is my people. No, that's yeah. your people. Yeah. The, the, like it's 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 really no wonder. I'm surprised Steven Spielberg didn't censor that in his movie. Uh, what what gone well, not gone with the wind? What was it? Uh, <laughs> West Side Story. The fucking Puerto Ricans getting a knife fight with the Irish. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of natural if you think about it. Just yeah, saying. the dancing's natural with the knife, too. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Uh, All right. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, no, All right. nothing. Hi. Hi, Nick. Oh. Hello. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. How's How everybody you? doing? Tommy, did you hear that Red Pagan flipped sides? Yes. Because Look at um, your DM. she flipped, she she flipped yeah, sides because flip um. Well, I mean, she's got a habit of that, hasn't she? Flipping, the English flipping five around. Five bucks you know? <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, what? Tommy. What is this? Yeah. No, you made this. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> what, what happened? She lost a bet. <laughs> <laughs> you lost a bet. Oh, that's so funny. What happened here? Did you do that? I can't confirm on whether that is or is not. I mean, it's just an allegation, and I'm seeing some pretty substantial evidence right now. <laughs> allegation is evidence, so it's true. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Red Pagan Quarter. Oh, Jesus. I, yeah, I, I did surprise somebody named Pagan was sticking up for Mama Max. I was like, do you, do you believe in fucking vampires, you dummy? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, she's a witch. Yeah. Hello? Someone wrote that Mama Max would have been really, really good in Salem. Yes, getting everybody burned. Yeah. Yeah. More weight. There's the famous Salem saying. That's really principle. That would have been me. I would have been the more weight guy. Leon Lush would have been the guy saying, um, yeah, I think Callanan did it. He's a witch. <laughs> no, Leon Lush would be the guy saying, like, listen, all right, I, yeah, I said that Tommy should die, but I didn't really know what was going on. And I don't really <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't feel bad. Fuck not, that guy. That's I what don't, he would be saying. I'm not yeah. impressed. I don't think people should be gone. I want to say this again. I don't think people should be demanding apologies from them. They didn't I know agree. all the facts, but I'm not impressed yeah. by either of them. Now, I've had just about enough of it. You all suck each other off for clout. All that fucking whole goddamn Elvis the Alien phony crowd. Ugh. Ridiculous. Oompaville was just like, God damn, I'm glad I called in sick that day. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I watched that video and I'm involved. I was like, oh, really, motherfucker? You know? <laughs> Oompaville. Yeah. All right, let's take more calls. Uh, little Aureus, I think. Aureus? Go ahead. I feel about uh, Mama Max using all this hotline Miami kind of imagery, but in a very wrong way. Yes, I would agree. He, sh he shouldn't have ever made a video with any kind of imagery whatsoever. <laughs> and, I mean, it's kind of coming to fruition now the way he's falling apart. I never finished the story in Hotline Miami, to be honest with you. So I'm not quite familiar with it. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Um, uh, Cinternet, you're on the Wait, air. hang on a sec. I, I can tell you what it is. It's so interesting. Hang on, Cinternet. Go ahead. So the whole point of the Hotline Miami thing, I've not played it, but I've read about it. After okay. this, and apparently the guy that does the act where he's going and violently murdering people, mm -hmm. the point of it is afterwards he has to walk back through the absolute chaos that he's caused. Oh. And by doing it, he's becoming like a monster himself, right? Oh. But obviously that's totally out of the Mama Max videos. Really? Just For a mindless cool shooter people. like that? It has some sort of deep like moral meaning at the end? Are you kidding me? Because I played it. I mean, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's just, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's so pretty cool, though, no, but that's we're awesome. In the monster stage? Does that mean we're in the monster stage of Mama Maxon? <laughs> well, the, the point is, is that in his so-called noble goal, yeah, I mean, he's, he's kind of made loads of mistakes and fucked up, hasn't he? So he's kind of living it in another yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of got to well, live it. Yeah. Go uh, a great philosopher once said that in today's day and age, our cell phones have become the death note. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Since that, you're on the air. Go. Your turn. Yo. So... I, I remember, like, in one Mama Max stream, somebody asked Spencer, like, bro, how could you be so fucking dumb to think this guy was an actual werewolf? And what did she say? She's, she said, like, he was just, like, really good at manipulating people. Like, he was just so good That's at it. That's such a weird response. He's really and, like, good at she, it. You know, of, of course, there's See, no... See, I, like, I, I, I don't believe in werewolves or vampires or anything, but when he said it, I did. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's weird. I don't know. Oh, she well, was, she was 16. Fans. I'll give her that. My thing is not to criticize her for whatever poor decision she may have made as a teenager. My decision to criticize her has to do with Mama Max seems to be setting her up as an influencer. She's living with her and he was running a scam. She is a part of that scam. Whether she is knowingly part of that scam is the only Would you question. interview her? Would I? Yes. Okay, so you're not involved in milieu control, okay? It's one of the multiple things that, like, so uh, people in, in whatever deemed cults are, all right? I, I am a, a milieu controller. Robert J. Foster said so. <laughs> but, also, yeah. but, but, Nick, you're also a truth seeker. Yep, I'm so a like... truth-seeking cult leader. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, um, Chud, do you remember when I was on your show and I think he read some book like... Um... Something about sociopaths or something about cult leaders and stuff like that, and he actually used it. it was Remember the when I said that on your show? Really yeah. hard. Yeah, I do. I because he's he's quoting books and shit now, so I'm pretty sure that's the case. I think I got that right too. He like like I read a book about Charles Manson because I want to. I'm interested in what happened. He reads a book about Charles Manson to become him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it's weird. I would love to talk to her. Oh my god, I would love to yeah, talk to her. Yeah, but I, have I don't so think you're the right person for, for the job for that. I don't. No, why not? Because I mean, this is you dumb bump. I understand. <laughs> I understand how a woman body, how a woman's body works, and I want to understand uh, the four <laughs> Just make fun of Mama Max. He'll put her on months. for you. Yeah, you understand you know? how a woman works. Do you think yeah. there's any truth to that guy calling Extreme Dad? Like there was some kind of attraction there. And that's why she did stupid stuff. Maybe in both that, maybe in both situations. Wait, you're saying mm. Extreme Dad was in the cult? A pre Extreme Dad called in and said <laughs> he just very kind of bluntly said that the Spencer wanted to fuck him, you know, which I don't know. Extre I think Extreme Dad would have fallen for Camden. Probably. <laughs> <100%. laughs> <All right. laughs> right. Anything else, Internet? Uh, yes. One last thing, Zylie, you proved what I've been saying for years. 
uh, middle-aged Mexican women are the strongest human beings on the planet. Wait, she's not Mexican. I'm not Mexican. Fuck! Blow me up, please. I'm American. Zali's the new tipster. Bro. Don't you love? Hey, hey, you know, like um, my uh, my uncle's from Saint Croix, right? And um, he used to really hate, especially when white people said to him, he's like, "Isn't because you guys got the same thing of being from Puerto Rico, like?" I, I, isn't it great that you're here as an immigrant and, 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 and uh. say stuff like that? Like you came all the way from Puerto Rico. So he's like, American citizen. I was born American citizen, you dummy. <laughs> oh, God. That it's happens more ass. than you All right, Benny does. That happens more oh, than you Oh, you came think, all the yes. way from Puerto Rico. That's so great. People, I love I immigrants. Have, did you, did you I have, need a passport for that? I <laughs> have legitimately seen people ask my dad that. Yeah. Literally. Oh, I'm sure. And have said I'm sure. that to no, my I dad. saw it happen to my uncle. Oh, I saw it. Because he's 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 a, he's, he's a big black guy from Saint Croix, so <laughs> he like, he talks like fucking Bob Marley, but faster. You know. Yep. And uh, people are like, oh, it's so great that you're here. He's like, fuck off, I'm American. I was in the army. <laughs> <laughs> It's like really you come cool. from Puerto Rico, and the person's like, "How how'd you get over the border?" Like, had to get like, there. Like, had to get over the border. <laughs> there, there, Joe Biden's fucking everything what, up. <laughs> what Texas is like? I always wanted to go to Texas. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, let's let's do some quick. I, I think we're you from Alberta, Puerto Rico? <laughs> <laughs> uh, making fun of Southerners. Matt, shut up. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, you're making fun of Puerto Ricans and Southerners. You're really hurting her, one hundred percent. God damn it. All right. Um, we're going to play a game. It's kind of like, it's not quite um, one and done. Uh, it's called Talk to Your Stupid. So I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to say, Talk to Your Stupid. If you're stupid first, if you're stupid, then I'll cut you off and go to the next one. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Skeletors. Skeletor. Let's talk to your stupid. Uh, Tipsters are pedophile. Tipsters are pedophile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah. No, no, not yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying yeah to talk to your stupid. All right, talk I'm to clarifying. your stupid. Sunset, Lila, go. Sunset, you're on the air. Talk to your stupid. I, I don't know what that means, but, uh, 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 that means talk sound retarded. Yeah. Stop. Okay, don't do I that. Get, get to the point. Now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll get to the point. I have screenshots of uh, Camden breaking up with uh, Miss Spencer. What does that mean? To the point where she's begging him not to leave. Send it to Dioria. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All no, I give it to Colton. If you get any evidence, send it through Colton. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he will distribute oh, it to oh, some people, <laughs> potentially, and maybe not others. He will, and yeah, he will yeah, distribute it to charities. Actually, and then yell at everybody I'm actually else. blocked by Colton. Because I, I did that. You got more evidence than he does. That, that means you've been blackballed from the community. Uh, if Colton has blocked you on Twitter, there is no, there is no moving forward. <laughs> right, Actually, I'm just so kidding. I'm just kidding. Sun, sunset, you can send it to Matt Pitt. Go ahead. No. Right. Yeah. <laughs> send it to Matt Pitt. There you just go. tweet yeah. it out. God damn it. Yeah. Tweet it out. Tweet yeah, it out. tweet it out. Tweet it out. We'll so, but yeah, why don't you get credit for it? it. What? Oh, shit. Let me get the Twitter up for you guys. It's already tweeted out. All right. Oh, yeah. Send us a Twitter. There you well, go. If it's public, yeah. then yeah, go for it. Put in yeah. the... Mama Max Leaks. At Mama Max Leaks. We also stole his old handle. Was just like, at Mama Max YouTube. YT. You stole it? What are you saying? You hacked him? No, he probably... He deactivated no, it. No, it's like uh, how my oh. account is real bunty uh. king. <laughs> okay. Real bunty king. Like, Tommy's like, about it, to get really like nervous. <laughs> Yeah, like, we finally found a real hacker in the Mama Max case. Oh <laughs> yeah. my God. Ah, I have a question. I do yeah. have a question for you. Uh, did you used to be a Mama yeah. Max fan? Uh, three years ago. Yep. Yeah, thought, so. oh, thought, thought, thought so. Thought so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Three years. So, so you, you, uh, I guess you cut out during Pick a Side YouTube. I guess it was. Or... Did you call well, Tommy I a was pedophile? There, kind of, but I. Didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never called Tommy that. Damn it. Once he started <laughs> calling fun. random people pedophiles, I kind of mm. just stepped back. Well, see, like, the problem is, is that I know a lot about OSINT and hacking and shit like that. So I guess. he's. A Were you lot part of, of his hacker team? About that shit. Were you part of his hacker team? No. But I know he, he bought a botnet. 
that's what? calling some ordinary or some ordinary gamers a pedophile and other creators. What? And it's constantly running. Yes. I'd absolutely believe that. We found it. I, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility uh, either. Really? And if you add it, it it will actually uh yeah spam you too. So it's spamming some ordinary gamers. It's like Amanda Jenkins. You need you need to put this information name. out on Twitter. Send it to me. You can send it to me too. All right, directly okay. from here. Just stay in the server, and you should be able to. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm like, I'm like, oh, sorry. you got pronouns in your bio. I can't take you seriously. Um, <laughs> no, I just sent it to me. I sent your friend request, so you can send it to me now and all that other stuff. Anything else? Any this other is bombs? She sends the IP grabber, and you're fucked. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What are they doing? Like hacks, what are they dude? doing? So, did you used to work for Mama Max? No, I know people who did work for him, but yeah, I've met a few people who worked for him too. Yeah, huh. okay. So there's Any... this one guy who's working with us who's actually like in there, but not in there, in there. But he, uh, man, I swear to God, these 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 people are retarded. They claim to know everything about OSINT because they're friends with Max. What's OSINT? I don't, I don't know shit. I don't know what you're talking about. What's OSINT? It's it's a open open source intelligence. It's like, uh, it's not really hacking, but it's like you download stuff off GitHub, and you can dox people essentially by just having a username. Yeah. So you can see like, oh, they've used the same username over and over again, and then you eventually get to more nitty gritty stuff, mm. and it can only be accessed through like Python or it's just. I, it's you're. Just I, do you understand this, Nick? Because I don't understand any of it. So it's like you just like download the fucking code itself, and yeah. the code it's gonna help you find. Whoever you want. What much. is with the bot thing in Mudahar? Yeah. It's just like projecting that Mudahar is a story it's about. Like, you, what is that? What, what is that about? You can buy a botnet. Anyone can buy a botnet. What is it's a botnet? You talk to me it. like I'm stupid. I really don't know what you're talking about. I'm not trying to be. Yeah, we're Gen X. We didn't grow up with this shit. Yeah. Okay, what is, what so is a botnet, botnet is a group of computers mm -hmm. that that is infected by malware and have come under the control of one actor. So there's that one actor who paid twenty dollars and says they can say, "Hey, make a bunch of Facebooks and go attack this one person." Really? And they'll do that. So yeah, and it's like an automation tool. So like a script kitty can go and put in code and be like, "Okay, I know what script kitty one means. or five. Where'd you go to school? Yeah. Where'd so, you go to school? Uh. I didn't go to school for computers. My my dad is actually um like was military and taught me a lot. Really? He was a uh, yeah. I don't want to say twenty eight Bravo. Basically, um, <laughs> no 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 no. He was like a computers guy in the nineties, and then uh, basically can build a computer ground up. So, yeah, so uh, anti so yeah. script kitty Gen X. Dude. Well, he must be higher than me. Yeah, I, yeah. Was, I was funny. So was he twenty five? Was he a twenty eight uniform? You know, you know what his MLS was? His MO? No, he was electronic warfare technician. That's all. Uh, that's all I can say. He's. An, uh, oh, I know. Where he, okay, now he's intelligent. No, that's intelligence. That's a whole different ball of wax. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. He talks himself. But, all right. Uh, long story short, though, uh, Max doesn't know anything about viruses, hacking. He says he can. We we were pretty uh, sure. We we kind of we figured yeah, that out. We kind of figured that out. That, no, Max has everybody do everything else for him, and no. then he just reaps the glory. That's yeah, what that's Max probably, does. Yeah. yeah. All right, sweetie. Thanks yeah. for stuff. If you have anything interesting, cool. tell me. Dude, tweet your own stuff out. Take credit for yourself. We'll cover it. You know, if it's good. You know what I mean? All right, bro. Take you, take care of yourself. Bye bye. Okay. Don't fuck with her. Um. Yeah, I stayed quiet that whole fucking time. Slick back. <laughs> Slick back. <laughs> You're on the a fucking friend request. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Uh, so you could send me uh, my DMs are open on here anyway. She could do. I just want to encourage you. Boom. Slick back. Go. Go. Say something until you're no, stupid. All right, all right, all right. Well, I mean, I I feel like there's just a very high possibility that Spencer's full of complete bullshit. I agree. All of this is made up. And, I mean. Well, the, all of it's made like, up. Like, that's for damn. Hold on. You can't say all well, of well, it's well, made well, up okay. because well, there are I, pictures I of make... her at the house. So like well, no, at the very I'm least, saying, she was there. I, I, <laughs> That's true. That's true. I can't make I can't make complete accusations like that. You know, they they were obviously with each other. Mm. But right. uh, I feel like this is like a classic case of what happens when you try to fuck a fat white woman. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Thanks. Lord, Brian, yeah. <laughs> Tony, Tony hits. He's not wrong. Uh, uh, Tony hits. You're on the air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God. What? 
What do you want? I'll talk to you uh, stupid. Skelly is lying about me. He, he's lying about me. I don't he's know. Who you, oh, Skelly is. You're stupid. Um, Z, you're on the air. Yeah, what's up? I'm very uh, thankful for everyone involved in this story because the fucking comeback video of Nick is fucking perfect. You like, like it? holy shit. All right. Yeah. Uh, and everyone is in this call is uh, actually a fucking hero. No, Thank you not. very much, Adolf. Thanks, no, man. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize it's people like you that put fucking marks on its pedestal? And made it, Jesus Christ. Well, nobody's a hero. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I believe I was not a fucking call in in the stream of uh, 2022 with the. Are you in Ukraine movie. or Russia? Tell me. I'm I'm Russian. Okay, look out! I even thought he was German, or I was gonna go with Gorbachev. No, I live over here. Thanks for calling. We're gonna get through. We got like I'm over the two hour mark. It's getting to be too much. It's nothing personal, guys. Seriously. So um, Tommy hates your support and money. He's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, since we have a thousand fans. concurrent in here, uh, check out now recording. We just put out a podcast episode. Okay, there. I don't think we're gonna do an after show too. <laughs> well, I did you two, fucking chill. I, I did two. I did two full hours, so no after show. That's canceled now. Um, Tommy, would you do a stream with Onision where you guys talk through the drama and see what he thinks about all? Yes, that? absolutely. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> Jay, all right, let me get through the calls, guys. Let me get through the calls. Jay, go talk to your stupid quick. Jay. Okay. Uh I have a question for Matt. Um, oh, wow. I have I have a theory have a clip of that? about who the person is that got into the survivor chat and leaked everything. Who? Okay. Cold. I have a I have a theory on who it is. Let's um, go. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Go ahead. Here's a hint. He's got a big dick and not a dead mom. <laughs> Good one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> LGBT. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually good. That the LGBT. Make that, person fuckhead, You're on that was a really good. What? Can we make that person fuckhead? Do we can't. We, she hasn't known yet, but she's on her way. Yeah, we can't because I don't know who the fuck was just in the call. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best, funniest things I've ever heard. LGBT. That You're on the great. air. Go. Let me get through this. Hey, hey how's it going? Your last um, caller looks like. Goodbye. I got. So, I mean, do something. I just got a quick point that I don't sure. think I quick. haven't seen many people bring up. But what? Go. Does it not constitute a little bit as charity fraud? What Max? I think so. I people? think so. I've been saying it for months. Goodbye. Right. Dude, Gerard's are really having a bad month on charity. <laughs> all right, everybody, let's go through Patreons and say goodbye. I really appreciate everything and all the support. It's been the classic uh, PAT. No after show today. I, I probably should go to bed. Well, if there's no after show, you can go check out. God damn it. Well, go do it. Do what you got to do. You know. <laughs> you know what I might do, though, for all you guys that are. Um, you got. To, I'm going into the Discord chat. Um, so for all you guys that are um, uh, members of, of Shop on the Point. Um, if you want to just bullshit with me normally, I'll do that like right now. All right, but I don't feel like doing another like showish type thing. As bad as those shows are, <laughs> I feel like uh, uh, let me get this right, and I really want to get the fuck out of here. I want to take a rest and have a smoke, and then wrap with wrap with the fans. So I'll be in the Discord almost immediately after this. Where's the pledge? Fifty? What the fuck? Active? I don't know what I'm doing? Pledge. Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. right. Oatbag, Mexican, Abby Blackburn, Cody, uh, Grail, Overborn, Latchkey, Gothboy, uh, Nesquik, Pig, Panic Pong, um, Reynolds Hughes, Tommy Sees Cat, who are you? Hey, Tommy, the Irish. content just arrived. What? Yeah, why, why don't you pull Vito's in waiting Yeah, Vito's here. Yeah, it's not real yeah, Vito, is up, it? Man. Is it is. He's not knows him. Not, it's fucking. It's not. I know what it is. Hey, Vito, how's it going? Hey, Vito. Hey, Vito. <laughs> Pilkington. question? <laughs> yeah. Fucking first. I just kind of want your opinion because I don't think anybody have asked. What? Do you think with this drop, it puts the convic the convictions at any risk? <laughs> the fuck <laughs> out of here! I'm going. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody. Tommy, Listen, why I really did you end appreciate. Up leaving Baden? 
We stop. Listen, if you want your name read off at the ever end every stream, it's ten bucks a month on Discord. I don't really sell that much, and I'm I'm going to talk to these guys, have a cigarette, and I'm going to be in the Discord. You do have to is be. Clown still around? Shut, yes. Is he uploading? <laughs> when is the next faded episode? Shut the fuck you up. Is Dave coming back to the show? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.